Hello, Samantha. Happy Sunday, how are you? Welcome back to the stream. My name is Rx underscore Hydra. We're playing Dark Souls 3 again today. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend, or at least are having a wonderful Sunday. Uh, it's good to see you. My day has been good. I finished a Tears of the Kingdom highlight video over on my other YouTube channel, and it's my favorite so far of those. I think it came out well. Managed to make a uh, short before going live today too. And yesterday I played the Game of Thrones board game for like six hours, which you actually, hang on, was it five? Whether it was five or six, usually when I go play with the group I play with who meet every four to six weeks, um, it takes like eight to 10. And sometimes it takes eight to 10 and no one even wins. I fucking won on turn five out of 10 that the game can run for. So it's been a decent weekend. How are all of you? What's up, Californian Sniper? What's up, 7th Elo? What's up, Sam? What's up, Lauren? What's up, Muriel? What's up, Maltrek? Hey, Polly. Hey, Batadar. Hey, Khajiit. Hey, Colossus. What's up, Zachary? What's up, Random4008? What's up, Yard Ninja? Hey, Aloy. What's up, Bradak? Good to see you, Toledo. What's up, Boutran? How are you all doing? Happy weekend. Dark Souls 3, my beloved. Missed the last two DS3 streams, Mega Sag. If you are counting last weekend among the missed, you did not miss a stream last weekend. So good for you. Bad for anyone that wanted there to be a stream last weekend. Let me apologize for not being around, but I was in Maine visiting family um, and I had an amazing time. I got to see my niece who is six months and a bit, or was then, I guess it's only been a week. She's six months and a bit and a bit more now. Which, um, you know, uh, she's in those developmental stages where I go back to Maine and get to see her every, like, month or two. And this is minor stuff, but when you see it all the time, I've said this so many times, but it really is true. It's such minor stuff, I know, but when you, when you, it's, it's the first kid of, like, the next generation in my family. And so it's my first time seeing it with family, and it's just super cool. Like, when I first met her, she just sort of, like, lolled around. Then the next time she actually looked at your face and then looked away and then the next face and then, you know, but she was stopping just for a second. Now she like follows you. She tried to grab hold of my watch and my seagull bone and stuff. It's cool seeing those changes. Also, the reason I was going home primarily was to meet the in-laws because um, my sister's fiance, uh, his family has tons of like, like monthly potluck get-togethers hosted by different people. Uh, my sister and he have hosted a few of them now. But while my mom has gone, and obviously my sister's gone, my brother and I never have. We've never met his family, really. We've met like just a couple of them once. So this was a chance for the two families basically like me. You understand? Um, it was great. It went really smoothly and wonderfully. That sounds maybe like a socially tense situation, but it was all very comfortable and happy. But my sister had like texted them to be like, by the way, the dog's gonna bark if you ring the door, but just the door's open. Come on in when you arrive. The first time I heard the door open, I was like, hey, I'll hold the baby. <laughs> because I I didn't, I was like, do you hug them? Do you shake their hand? Do you just wave from across? Like, oh, it's a crowded kitchen. I can't make my way over to you. This is acceptable, right? Are you gonna work your way to me? Should I be going to you? I didn't know what we should be doing. So I just, I, I got the baby for the first hour of the party. <laughs> to defend myself. But it was a delight holding her too. It was a great time, it was a good weekend. Sorry it meant no stream last weekend. Anywho, that was a long explanation. <laughs> Some of you already knew, but whatever. Dark Souls 3, let's go! Oh, hi, Mark. You know, I've never seen that movie, but there are theaters that do it like monthly or maybe a little less often than that here in New York City. Here in New York City, where I live, where, um, you know, they do it like uh, Rocky Horror, kind of. <laughs> they make an event of it, and I think there's people that like shout things out. I should go see it there first, friends told me. We were talking about that just yesterday when we had time to chat because I won the Game of Thrones board game so quickly. It's Nun, this is my YouTube account. I will do my best to remember that. It's good to see you, Nun. Sorry if I forget, but I'll try to remember. I've been doing a bit of uh, Baldur's Gate 3. I really enjoyed Thursday this past week when I started Baldur's Gate 3, my first day. If you want to see it, there's a VOD. I warn you, it's five and a half hours long. Even if you skip through the intro and game dull this stuff here, it's five hours, five hours of RPG. But I had a lot of fun. 
So this coming week over on Twitch, we'll definitely be doing um, like one day of one, two days of the other out of Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate. I want to keep playing that. What is dead may never die. Yo, what up? What's up, Bill or something, Bill? On time for once. Good to see you, Sam. Say my name right first try, Boutran. I believe I've seen a name similar before. Maybe that's why I came close. Or it was luck. Either way, I hope I keep saying it right. Names are important, Samantha. Whether you like someone or don't, get their name right. Unless you're specifically giving them a nickname, in which case, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, but... Learn people's names. How's it going? It's going pretty well, Haddock. How are you doing, friendo? Taking a break from Morgoth. Gotta cook for some family. Oh, do you enjoy cooking for other people? I hope you're enjoying that. I hope it's gonna be delicious. Definitely missed them. What happened to the past two streams? We spent two hours fighting Pontiff Sullivan. That's mainly what I remember. Two weeks ago, we spent a majority of the stream, at least of the stream time spent on the game, fighting Pontiff Sullivan, and we won. <laughs> We're getting to move forward in Irithyll, hopefully leave Irithyll today, but that took some time. Hey, what's up, Faye? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Made it to my first stream. It's good to see you, Mr. Wolf. I hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday. Would've thought you had at least 100 times more, what, people? Oh, are you talking about like viewers and stuff? Well, viewers come and go. There are, you know, busy weekends and there are quieter weekends. But yes, if you're talking about like compared to the views on some of my content, there's two things here. Number one, recorded content almost always has orders of magnitude higher numbers. Because of course, people seeing it at wildly different times. But you know, all counts. So that makes a big difference. But also, recorded content is at the whim of the algorithm, which can kill it, but it can also push it to tons of people who aren't even subscribed. So the numbers are really not comparable. So you literally used a baby as a shield. Yep. In the nicest way possible. But yes, what of it? Let's spending three hours on one boss. No, we're going to make progress tonight. More than we're not going to spend, th I hope, th three hours on one boss. We're not even not even close to that much. I don't have complete control over that, but it's my goal not to. You're a legend and you are much too kind. But I take it you enjoy the content. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. You have to see it when Dark Souls probably in 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, I would guess, because I'm going to catch up on messages real quick now. We're going to play Game Dole to warm up, and then it will be Dark Souls 3. Been binging Baldur's Gate 3. Love this t-shirt. Thank you. Got a little cowboy here riding a shark, vomiting a rainbow. It's an excellent one. Wanted to do an Elden Ring randomizer. I absolutely loved your streams of it, so I wanted to ask, what mod did you use for the randomizer? I believe the th I found it on Nexus Mods, I think. And I think it was just called Enemy and Item Randomizer. It, it didn't have like, uh, you know, <laughs> lowercase x, uppercase x, lowercase x, underscore, weed lord Goku 420, underscore, lowercase x, uppercase x, lowercase x, is item ran enemy randomizer. It didn't have anyone's like name or anything on it. I think it was just called Enemy and Item Randomizer. I did have to install a separate program that assists you with installing Elden Ring mods. Not the Nexus mods thing, if I did indeed get it from Nexus mods, not their mod installer. But I believe if you find the if you find the randomizer mod I used, their installation instructions include two versions, and one of what I did was in there. It'll link you, for instance, to the other program. First time catching a stream, really been enjoying the VODs and highlights. Thank you so much for watching, I'm glad you enjoy. What's up, Cosio? Hope you're doing well, friend. What's up, Loopy Survivalist? Uh, I've read your message and then said hello, but I mean it. Hello? Happy I got to work an hour ago. Nice. Did I miss the stream? You did not. We're doing our intro. This is where I warm my voice up. Okay. If you are ever going to a job interview or doing a performance or anything where you've got to present yourself, you're going to hear a lot of ridiculous tips if you go looking for advice or a friend just offers you some about things like power stances. When you get there to the interview, if they ask you to wait, take advantage of that. Ask them where the bathroom is, go, pee if you need to, if you're nervous, and then stand in front of the mirror like, take up as much space as you can for as much of five minutes as possible. Like it'll feel long, but stand there. 
and just take up space and it'll put you in the mindset where you can like be confident and take you're gonna hear lots of silly things like that many of them can actually help you they are worth trying in part because if you get over that silly feeling you'll come off more confident and be more ready one of those things is to talk aloud and be ready and the point is up until i stream I usually... No, actually, I was going to say I usually haven't spoken aloud that day. That's probably not true. The only speaking aloud I've probably done, though, is singing to myself or repeating voice lines from games and movies that are stuck in my head. So my voice isn't really warmed up. <laughs> Hence, we do this warm-up. Gets me used to being on camera and so on. So you haven't missed the stream, we're just warming up. Just returned from my trip to Germany and Denmark, so I missed the last two streams. Happy to be back. Welcome back. You didn't miss one last weekend, if you're counting that weekend. Beat a boss in under an hour, I feel it. Live on just YouTube or Twitch also. I stream on both, but only one at a time. So right now, only on YouTube. This coming week, for example, I think I will have a normal schedule, which means Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Same time as here, but over on Twitch. Next Sunday, should be back here again for another stream like this one. And... Slightly tentative plans, because I still haven't done the prep work I should. I think, actually, we'll do a bonus stream next Saturday over on Twitch, starting early, like 2 or 3 p.m. in my afternoon, U.S. Eastern Time. Community games. Jackbox Party Pack games. Maybe Scribblio and Gartic Phone. Uh, probably some trivia we can all join in on. I really love playing, like, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? With, uh, Samantha suggestions and stuff. I really need to get on planning that. I've been so busy, man. I've been saying for a couple weeks, like, it'll probably be next week. I'll confirm for you soon, and I still can't fucking confirm. Anyway, it should be fun, whether it happens next weekend or soon after. How about one hour per boss with three bosses? I think I could stand that. I'd enjoy the first two. The third, I think I would get through. But I could take that. It's way better than three hours on one boss. Spent at least 20 hours so far in Melania trying to get a no-hit run on level 1. I wish you luck. Yeah, I watched a little of your video. I watched my friend, um, 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 oh my god, I'm blanking on her Twitch name. Shit. Fuck. It's a word, Capricorn. What the fuck is it? Jess Capricorn. Jess Capricorn. I watched her do a, uh, so level 1 run and I caught, uh, uh, a couple of her streams dedicated to Melania. Ah, uh, yeah, it's hard. That's... <laughs> Good luck. How long have you been streaming for? Six years or 13 minutes, depending on which way you're asking the question. Now, that's an enthusiastic explanation of how the algorithm works. You are pretty great, love your style of comedy, and you're pretty fun. Are you natural that way, or are you like on Adderall? I am on Adderall, but a very mild dose. Also, I stream off of Adderall regularly, and no one has ever told me they noticed the difference. Even people I've asked afterwards. So I don't think it's that, but I did stage performance, improv, and stand-up comedy uh, from college right through now, so that's probably why. I posted a uh, short of me singing recently, um, just a little comedy song from the Elden Ring first playthrough, and people were like, he's a Glee Club kid. I knew it. I got that vibe, um, which I'll take as a compliment, but I never was. I was not a theater club or Glee Club. I, I didn't do those things until college when I did sketch comedy, that. I'm catching up now though. Chat's so delayed on YouTube though. I have it turned to the middle setting. There's actually settings for how much delay you have. I, I don't know how short the shortest is because I chose the hybrid quality and lower delay. It is a bit longer than other platforms sometimes, sure. What's up Tickles, good to see you. Hope you're doing well, friend. Yay community. Finally caught a stream. What's up, Captain Scone? Hope you're doing well, friend. Find you through YouTube Shorts while you're playing Elden Ring. Thank you for watching. I take you enjoyed them. Hope you did. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Unfortunately, you can't power stance in DS3. Can't you? Wait, are you serious? Because when someone told me to power stance in Elden Ring, I swear to God, I was like, all oh, right, power stance is a thing. Like I'd been told about it in a previous game. I mean, my memory is shit, maybe I'm misremembering, but I could have sworn it came from pre-Elden Ring.
Glad to see you back. Thank you so much, unknown person. Good to see you. How are you, man? I'm doing well. How are you? Finally caught you live. Good to see you, Land Power. I like to imagine Hydro has just been live streaming for six years straight, 24 hour streaming style. Uh, I'm setting the record for the longest stream. The problem is after I started, I realized that if I ever stop, that obviously opens the window for someone else to take over. So I'm kind of stuck here now, you know? But don't worry, I've put some thought into this predicament and I've made plans. After I pass away, the stream will continue as a very tasteful tribute just focused on a little urn of my cremains while, I don't know, maybe people will come talk about me. Maybe someone else will just stream and the urn will be there. We'll figure it out, but I've made plans. Too dark? Yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and play Game Doll. Let's play Game Doll. This is a guessing game we use while I'm warming up. It's a lot of fun. You can play along. What we need to do is guess what game this is the cover to. If you know the answer immediately, don't say it. Just to give other people a chance to guess, it makes it more fun. If you are certain you know it, do not guess, but you can be very smug and you can go, I know this game. Uh, like Just from that corner alone, I got it instantly. You can do that all you like. Anything less than certainty, go ahead, let me know what you think it is. I'm gonna guess this is Warhammer Online. I recognize this and I don't think it's Warhammer Online, but I don't. Well, I do think it's Warhammer. <laughs> Looking closer at these guys. But I'm not actually sure what game. I just, I swear, I've seen this cover at some point. What's up, Pennywise? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Seeing some shorts while I eat and remember you stream today. It's good to see you, Lucas. You can only power stance in two in Elden... Wait, they removed it from three? There are some weapons in three that are power stanced by default. Not only fist weapons, but some really cool great swords. Weird. Okay. Just rest at a bonfire before you die and you'll be all set. Watch my Elden Ring shorts, tried the same playstyle, and now all my NPCs are dead. That's exactly what happened to the shorts. I'm sorry, but you should have known that was going to happen. And I'll have no idea what's going on. You're following my playthrough to the letter. I'm flattered. You know this game 100%? Turok, Total War Warhammer? Let's start with Total War. Hi, hello Rose. Happy Sunday, hope you're having a good weekend. Total War, Warhammer. Yep, it's that. Next is the same game, except this is not the cover. This is any piece of artwork produced for the game. I 100% know what this is. So it's up to you, I'm out of the guessing. I know this one. I fucking know this one. I streamed this, I think for two days, maybe only one, yet I still made a highlight video of that day. I enjoyed this. I actually wanted to play more, but I just sort of didn't find time and amongst things I wanted to play a little more. This is a pretty good game. And it's got two halves, two completely different kinds of gameplay. And I really enjoyed the one I thought I would just sort of deal with. And I enjoyed, but not so much, the half of it I thought I would really like. Call to the Lamb. I think you got it there. Cult of the Lamb. Good game. Awesome music. Go open a tab, find someone who put together a playlist of the Cult of the Lamb music, and, uh, well, I guess it would be weird hearing it over Dark Souls 3. Now ah, you can try or leave the tab open for later. Okay, one more, Samantha. Now for Game Dull Guest. To kick us off, I need the name of any game from the late 2000s. Any time around there is a good starting position, because it will help us split the years. You'll see what I mean in a second. Any game from like late 2000s. 2008 would be like perfect. Um, but don't worry too much about it because I don't remember what year games came out. So Alan Wake, nice. I couldn't tell you one from 2008 for certain. Alan Wake, 2010, perfect. Okay, here's the, f holy shit, the developer. It doesn't usually look like this, but the developer publisher column is insane for this game. Let me try to explain what's going on here. There's the game we guessed. That is not the correct game. We're trying to guess a game, but not Alan Wake. Red means entirely wrong. So Alan Wake is a shooter and an adventure, but this is red because the game we're trying to guess is neither a shooter nor an adventure. 
Uh, similarly, the game we're trying to guess does not have horror or thriller themes. Year gives us a little more info. The arrow here means the game we're looking for is newer than 2010. Uh, yellow is harder to read. Yellow means partially correct. So this is not red, meaning single player is correct for the game we're guessing. But this isn't green, which means exactly right, because there are missing things. The one we're guessing may be single player, multiplayer, and co-op. Does that make sense? If any of these were green, it would mean we got it exactly right. All right, we don't have a lot to go on. We're looking for a game that's not a shooter, not horror, newer than 2010, third person, but also other views. Has single, like, we don't have a lot to go on. Let's just guess a newer game that has third person. Skyrim, uh, newer. I know it's come out more recently, but it also came out prior to 2010, so. Sky like, the first release of Skyrim's like 2000 fucking, what is it? Five? 2007? I'm not sure. It Takes Two. It Takes Two is only third person, isn't it? It's got a lot of mini games. It could have other views. I'm willing to try It Takes Two. Let's throw that out there just because that's a nice new one. We'll bookend the years, most likely, if it's not correct. Okay. Between 2010 and 2021. Yeah, they list that as only third person. Okay. The game we're looking for, we can also rule out action, platform, puzzle. So it's not shooter, adventure, puzzle, or platform. It's not horror, thriller, or action. All right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Skyrim was 2011. Let's try to find something closer to the middle of these years, because if we're wrong, it's nice to at least close the window of the years in tighter and tighter, you know? Probably an EA game. Oh, you're right. Between these two, it's almost certainly EA, not Hazelight, just because EA's put out so many more games. Um, that's not going to help me a lot, but we can rule out some things like it won't be Halo because EA didn't publish Halo. It won't be Assassin's Creed because that's Ubisoft, right? So that helps us rule out some major franchises at least. Forza. Which Forza would be between 2010 and 2021? Actually, they wouldn't be... They would be... Microsoft would publish those. Can't be Forza, I don't think. They've always made them, right? They didn't, like, buy the studio that used to make Forza independently, I don't think. Was Anthem EA? Yes, it was. Anthem was a bit recent. Wasn't Anthem, like, 2020? I kind of want to split the years if I can. FIFA, Need for Speed. FIFA, this will let us split the years perfectly. FIFA 16, go. Holy shit. It is a FIFA game. This is so rare for us. We are in the correct saga. I don't even need to read the rest to you. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the FIFA saga, but if you're curious, the game we're looking for is sport and only sport. It's non-fiction and only non-fiction. We're looking for more recent than 20. Do you want to just go through the years then? Um, so between 2015 and 2021, let's split it in half again. FIFA 18. which came out in 2017, if you look closely at that year. Good game. Good game. Yeah, process of elimination. Okay, the answer, Samantha, and well done, all of you. It was FIFA 18, which is on PC, PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, the X-Bone, and Switch. It is a sport game, if you didn't know. It's nonfiction. Came out in 2017 with single player, multiplayer, and co op on the Frostbite engine. Famously, the engine made for Battlefield. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. There was a period where EA wanted absolutely everything. Sorry, I whacked the microphone. Absolutely everything made on Frostbite because it was their engine. They didn't need to pay anyone to, to use it. 
Um, but the Frostbite engine, for, I, I remember seeing interviews with people saying like, uh, what was it? Inquisition, I think, was built on the Frostbite engine. Dragon Age Inquisition? I might have the wrong RPG. I'm gonna go forward saying it's DAI. Inquisition was made on it, and the, some of the devs later were like, yeah, that engine was clearly made for Battlefield, because if you just got together your art assets and made some maps, it was like drag and drop into the engine and you had a Battlefield game. It just spit it back out at you. But if you wanted to like pause your game, that functionality didn't exist because you don't pause in Battlefield. So we had to like, you don't save in Battlefield. They had to make that up and add it to the engine for their game. So it was a disastrous time for EA. There are some fun stories about those times. 18 was when they swapped to Frostbite. So messy is real. It's true. I know finding out about Santa and the Tooth Fairy was rough for all of us, but you can hang on to Messy. Messy is real. It's not just a story parents tell their kids. Spat out my soda at your look at nonfiction for FIFA. What is the X-Bone? It's the Xbox One by its more proper name. Because Xbox One is cumbersome. X-Bone just sounds right, even if Phil Spencer hates it. That was the fastest one yet since I've been watching. That was excellent. You guys did great. Heard a lot of companies make the number for their product one more than the year it comes out so it wouldn't look old on the shelf in a few months when the year changes. I guess it makes sense. Cars do the same thing, you know. Middle of the summer, you're always hearing about cars for the next numbered year. All right, I feel warmed up. Game deal went well. Good shit. Good shit. If you ever want to play that yourself, the name Gamedle is because it's like Wordle. There's a new puzzle every day and it's free. You can play it at gamedle.wtf. G-A-M-E dot, uh, no, G-A-M-E-D-L-E dot W-T-F. Cool. Um, let me turn this on. So we're hoping for no troubles today because I am why I have a pink and green controller. It's lovely. Just not to you. It's Samantha 2. It was named during a charity stream. Okay, enough about the controller. Other than to finish my first thought, which was, I'm wireless today. I got one of the Xbox wireless adapters. This is the first time I've plugged it in. I haven't tested anything. Fingers crossed. Let's get to the game. Dark Souls 3. Game 3 scene. Um, I had to rebuild this because I accidentally fucked it up making my Baldur's Gate scene because I didn't realize this was the dark. But I've recreated it. It's close to where I was before. I think it's right. I missed Game Duel. One more, please. They do have endless modes for a couple of the games, but... Holy shit, that was loud for me. The ones we usually play are one each day. But they're available to you if you want to play. Like I say, over on their website. Space Kitty, adorable. Hi, what's up, Mia? Good to see you. Wow, invisible controller, right? The custom controllers have gotten so... special. Is the remote green too, since you can see the background through it? Yeah. You'll love controller. No test, just raw dogging it? Well, I only thought to do this like 10 seconds before starting stream. Also, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, we left off at this lady. Hello. Good to see you. We left off at Dark Souls 1 lady or her descendant or something. Um, but I think I need to get back to that tower. Which means I probably need to... I can jump down here, but it's the same if I just go back to, like, Sullivan's room. We have to run by a bunch of archers again, I'm pretty sure. Let's run by a bunch of archers again. Travel. I'm on PC, Mr. Wolf. How was your week? My week was pretty good. My boss is out on vacation uh, all last week and will be all this coming week, so... It's been low pressure, high spending the time after I finish my work going over and hanging out with my friend Mondo on the other side of the office and chatting about games with him. It's been good. I hope you've had a good week. Feet? Foul? Down boy? Does she not have shoes on? I didn't even look. I'm purer of heart than all of you. 
Um, I got invaded here, but I'm pretty sure I ran through afterwards and didn't get invaded a second time. So I think I just need to make sure I don't get shot or stepped on by a giant. And we'll be fine. I have zero... Why do I have zero... Hang on. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, here's the thing. I have zero souls right now, but I don't remember if there's a bunch of them lying on the ground somewhere or if I lost them all. So I don't know if I should be careful or not. We're going to guess that I lost them all because I just remembered there's an area down here. And let's check it out while I have none. There are giant, awful furry alligators. I can't think of how to describe them. They look like a mixture of dogs and alligators and demons. And I saw them once before and went, how about we don't do that? But while I have no souls, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Aaron Farron Keep are the hotspots for PvP in this game. I feel like you're the least threatening painting guardian. Probably can't uh, do a back handspring like in DS1. No, probably can't. Probably can't. Hello there. I feel weirdly out of touch with my character, actually. Remind me what my stats are. Oh, yes. Yes. Pyromancy, Int and Faith. Come on, Johnny. Let's go. Use the old party seed charms on these things. Oh, fuck, dude. I said things plural a second ago and then went, oh no, I only saw the one. But it's a big motherfucker. Let's try to get to that one first. Without attracting that one's attention, if I can. Okay. I rolled. That one I'll take, but the first, what the fuck? All right, it's not like riding a bicycle. I've been away for a week. The first, ooh, 28, 32. Where do you want to start the bidding? Deaths don't count, yeah? Motherfucker. Got rolled, these doggos look like they're in the mood for a grandiose party. Full white outfit can't be a good idea for partying nonstop. No, 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 it's fine. Because in the morning, when you can't remember anything, your clothes do. Our stains will tell the story of our orgiastic partying. There's no way Johnny does his own washing. He's gonna use a drop-off cleaning place. And I bet they're gonna deny him. He's probably been denied before. He probably has to find a new place to drop his laundry every fucking month. Doggies are horrible in all the games. Yeah, now they're big. Great. Great, great, great. Wish you were close enough for me to target right from the get-go. That turns so tight. You are such a maneuverable giant monster. Two in a row? I can't move. I'm gonna drink. I'm fine. Apparently that attack can take place entirely in front of it. Shit. Shit! That was faster than last time! Come on. Okay, there's no room for an attack in the middle of those. There was the first time it did it. I guess it did two that weren't a combo in a row. Because the first time it did that, I fit an attack in, dodged the second one. Every time after that, nope. Son of a bitch. 
Hey, Shoujo, good to see you. Happy Sunday. Loved seeing all the Baldur's Gate 3 characters you've made. At least the other games don't have Dark Souls 3's teleporting dogs. Johnny and Hot Deli crossover when? I know there are theories, but I don't think it's particularly likely that the worlds of Dark Souls and Elden Ring are connected. So. Some kind of fighting game? Maybe I could make them both in Soul Calibur 6's character creator? Maybe something like that? Hey, your souls? That was zero lying on the floor. Nothing to worry about. Watch a lot of your shorts. Are you planning to play Lies of P on release? I don't know about on release. It's very likely I'll play it, and there is a chance it will be on release, but I don't... I haven't made plans around that. It comes out pretty soon, doesn't it? I have a lot of shit to play, but... Yeah, I'm not sure about on release. That's what Florida calls swamp puppies. Um, also, Blasphemous 2 just came out and that game was incredible. I watched a little bit of uh, one of my friends over on Twitch, Gold Plated Games. Highly recommend, especially if you like retro. He does some streams where he does things, like it's Fridays, where he goes through Nintendo Power issues and he plays games people vote on out of each Nintendo Power issue. He does a lot of stuff, some modern, a lot retro. Great, great, great streamer. I was watching him play a little bit the other day. Some of the most beautiful sprite art I've ever seen in Blasphemous 2. I'm very interested in them, and I've never played either, so I'd be happy to play one and then two if I enjoy one. No plans when I'd get around to that. But it's on the radar. That felt like it had more pause. What the fuck, dude? One hit brought me far enough forward? Shit. Shit. I couldn't roll in time? Fuck me. I can't attack because it will move me. How was I safe when I was caught in the wall and no other time have I been safe from that? Jesus, dude. Look, I, I think, like, mutts have the best health and, like, some breeds are almost cruel to dogs. But I see why people go to breeders, because... Holy shit, you never know what personality you're gonna get. Fuck, man. Down, boy! Shit. Quick drink. I've used a lot of heals. More than half my heals, I just noticed. On this one. And there's a second waiting. Oh shit, I thought you were gonna come all the way forward. I don't wanna reach in there, bring your head down. Oh. Fuck, man. I was gonna rescue that dog. Shit. They were going to be in all of my Tinder profile pictures. Tire weapon ability? I have. It's good. Mm. Mm. Today's consisted of pumpkin spice latte, uh, AEW at Baldur's Gate 3 and Chipotle. Good goddamn Sunday. Fan fucking tastic. That sounds enjoyable. How are you? I'm doing very well. Just been doing editing. Went out and bought myself some black and white cookies to celebrate completing. Tears of the Kingdom highlights part three over on my other channel. There's someone in the corner too. Smith, there's like someone huddled in the corner. Are they trapped in here by the dogs or are they the owner? Uh, yeah, I bought myself some cookies in celebration, ate all of them. The package was not meant to be one serving. It was great. Human dregs? Fucking hell, man. I'm supposed to have learned something from fighting one of these already. I just realized if I die to this one, I have to fight them both again. Oh no.
Okay. Fuck. Is this Venom's dog? What's up, Diamond? Happy Sunday, friendo. Good to see you. He's being a good dog, protecting his house against intruders. Dogs have bad personality, only if people were cruel to them. I do think there are um, some um, mental proclivities that have been bred into some dogs. Like uh, our neighbors growing up. Um, they were a lovely family. They had a lot of pets that were really wonderful and nice. And they had a greyhound that, at older age, just kind of lost it. I've heard the same is true of huskies. I'm not super educated, though. I could absolutely be wrong with my very, very limited impressions. I do think there are some breeds that may have more propensity towards this or that personality issue. But I do largely ascribe to the nurture over nature aspect of things, certainly. 12,000 souls for a doggo, damn. Ah, oh, now I need to pick the thing up. I didn't even think about that part. You gotta spin to win? I would, but it's hard to find a window because it doesn't stumble these guys. Some people compare Ronnie's ending in Elden Ring to Bloodborne. I think the Frenzied Flame... Oh, are we talking about how the games might be connected? Okay, that makes sense. For a second, I was gonna say, do they just compare them because they both involve the moon? But if you're trying to come up with fan theories about connecting the games, that's a perfect place to start. Okay, I'm caught up. <laughs> I was about to be very snarky for no good reason. Didn't you learn not to mess with those dogs? I want to know what that item is and who's over there and shit. I want to know. Same with humans. Also just individual dogs, not very friendly or into humans. Yeah. It's possible. Dogs are cool unless they're made by Miyazaki. That's that's the breed you gotta worry about. Those Miyazaki da. They stay dead! Hell yes! We're gonna progress eventually! That's the best news I could ever get in a playthrough. Shit. What I do think I have time for is a heavy attack now and then, so I was going to start mixing those in, and I just missed him because I did heavy. Oh, the way that it's like upper lip especially, the way its mouth uh, fluffs around a little, fluffs around, flops around a little with that attack, it looks like a Muppet. Top off for safety. I dodged that. I fucking dodged that. Clearly not, but what the fuck? Top off for safety. Get out of here. Ring of favor. I pulled that out of its stomach. Ring of favor. And I also have human dregs to check. Increases HP, stamina, and max equip load. Mm -hmm. This is in pomegranates. This is in Dark Souls 1. The guy with the golden armor who hates the firekeeper. Am I right or on one or both of those? You're usually snarky for no good reason. That's fair. That's a reasonable assessment. I mean, Rondi is bay. Wait, was that part of the of the of talking about how it might be connected to Bloodborne? Do you think I don't want to give away too much, but the thing you see at the end of Bloodborne is bay? To each their own, but. Yes, in Dark Souls 1, correct. Does it still break like in Dark Souls 2? No idea, I don't remember it breaking in Dark Souls 2. Guess they lost the trademark for protection. Ring of Favor also equals Aired Tree's Favor and Elden Ring, both correct, both. Lothrek. Wait, Lothrek? There's also a Lothrek. L-A-U-T-R-E-C, yes? Are they different people or are we talking about the same person? Um, ring symbolizing the favor of the goddess Fina, whose fateful beauty is mentioned in legend. True to the fickle nature of Fina's uh, favor, her ring increases max HP, stamina, and maximum equip load. That sounds excellent. 
Shorten spell casting time, boost pyromancies, greatly boost pyromancies. I've never done any testing about whether these stack, I've just been assuming they do. Recover HP with successive attacks. I have no idea if these stack. Let's... How much does this change things? 764 to 86. Okay. 2.5 more pounds on equip load. What was the other thing? Stamina. Where's my stamina stat? That goes up by 9. Stamina is the most impressive, seeing as I haven't leveled it up much myself. This thing's kind of nice. Might be better than having both boost Pyromancy's rings with how little I've been using Pyromancy's recently. Oh shit, dude. We even get a uh, bonfire. I think this is someone we were meant to help. All right. All right. Are they alive? Wait, that's one of the, um, one of, what the hell? Ray to Archdeacon McDonnell. Okay, that, that could be party. It's another covenant. Keep joining them. Oh shit, wait, I joined a covenant and an NPC left me a while ago, didn't they? Aldrich Faithful? Uh, why do I just click the fuck? Son of a, you take human dregs? Let me look at the one I picked up before turning it in. What is it? Where is that? Proof of a duty fulfilled by the Aldrich Faithful who patiently await the devourer of God's return. Dregs are the heaviest things within the human body and will sink to the lowest depths imaginable, the heel, where they become the shackles that bind this world. Hmm. I'm not trying to reward this covenant necessarily, but I would like to get these out of my inventory, so please take them. Enjoy. I'm getting out of here. Oh, McDonnell had a farm, and on his farm he had two dogs. Yes, I was not ready for where the second half of that message went. I had something else in mind. Or was expecting something else. How much is a level? Should I go spend this, or can I move on? Shit, I've got... Let's see if we can get to two. We just started. Why go back to town yet? Let's see if we can get to two. Um, let's make sure there's nowhere else to, like, leave this room via. Unless there's a hidden door, I think this is just for the Covenant. Which is entirely believable. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, that's the annoying question. I'm sure you've answered it already because I'm an absent uh, son. Do we get a Hydro Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough? Uh, I mean, yeah, the VOD, the first VOD is actually up on this channel already if you'd like to see it. It is five and a half hours long. So, you know, if you like watching complete VODs, it's a dedication of time, but it's there. And I intend to cut some shorts as I'm able from it and eventually have highlight videos. Yeah, this coming week, I am going to be over on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I believe I can do all three days. And it will probably be, like, mm -hmm. Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3, like, one of one, two of the other. I'm not sure which way it'll go. It'll be a mixture of things. Because, yeah, we did it last Thursday, and I enjoyed more than I thought I would. And Samantha sure seemed to like it. You're expecting the name of Old McDonald's Farm to be B-I-N-G-O? Maybe. Love having those play while I game. 
That's what I do with, with VODs for streamers and other creators I like, yeah. It's fantastic second screen. I don't have to find a new video for hours. It's wonderful. Okay, I should have thought for a second about... I, at one point... I should have thought! I should have thought! Which direction do you go in here? Did I ever check what was back here? Uh... Shit! Okay, alright. There's another one. There's two? Uh, this way I think just keeps going to that lady... What's down here? There is something down here! Oh, thank god! Ah! St oh, shit! Someone else can see me with a bow. I thought I was out of all their sights. Jesus, that thing caught me right in the dregs. Did I just... I... That's actually really good to have. Okay, we got a shortcut. Good shit. Good shit. I was gonna be really mad I'd just gone backwards for a second there. Good stuff. Do you take game suggestions informally? People should feel free to tell me, hey, I think you'd like this game. Um, but I, I don't have, like, a channel on Discord for it. Uh, I don't generally write them down. So. They are more likely to get played if more than one person says them, because they'll just more likely stick in my memory. And I guess if someone posts them in Discord, like, hey, keep this game in mind, because then, you know, I might see the writing later. Where am I going right now? Oh, I'm going backwards. Um, I guess we'll go take the shortcut. I forgot you guys were here. So many ranged fucking enemies in this area. So many ranged fucking enemies. So many enemies that fuck at range. Did you get Achilles? I did. Thinking isn't your strongest suit, stick with running. Dark Souls 3. If you hated Silver Knight, we made them worse. Shortcut. Sup, what's up? It's good to see you. Happy Sunday, friend. These guys were so annoying in Dark Souls 1. Yeah. I have Dark Souls 1 highlight videos. Back when I made it, though, I cut much shorter highlight videos. I think they're still like a chunk, like a good minute, which is a long time in my old style of video. Just on being mad at the silver fucking knights. They suck. Okay. Whew. We're free of them, I think. Sorry I'm late, no worries. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Have you played Hollow Knight? Yes. That's a game that, because I've played it, is low priority, but that I do want to play again because a couple big content patches came out after I played it. So I think there might be some added bosses, or I think there was one patch that, like, gave every boss a new version to do. And that, that, that's, I think someone told me that, and that one came out after I'd beaten the game, so I'd never played that. Just found out Ash and Pikachu are retired forever. My childhood is ruined. You always have the memories. And like fucking like 36 movies, right? Didn't they release a Pokemon movie every like eight months? Did that Ash give you enough? But I'm sorry for your loss. Okay. <laughs> yep. I remember this place. Not entirely happy. Let's go. Do you like Dark Souls or Sekiro Shadows Die Twice? Yes, I like them both. Try Salt and Sanctuary. That was the first 2D Souls-inspired game I remember hearing about. I think my brother was a big fan of it. Yeah, I've never played that one. Ah, come on, dude. I'm just trying to get through here with my 24k. Well, I'm targeting him, aren't I? Why did it stop targeting him? Do I hear more? 
This is bullshit. Such bullshit. Oh my god, there's a bonfire there I didn't touch. Fucking target him! Why is it so short range? Come back here. Fucker. Ah, fucking blocked it. I wanted that stylish end. Okay. I think... <laughs> I should think I should rest and just kill him again. Honestly. Jesus. Back to fists, I see. Fuck yeah. It fits the party lifestyle. Easy to pack. Easy to use while drunk. <laughs> I'm familiar with Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill looks pretty interesting. Fuck, man. Late. Perfect. More like that. I need more of that shit. I think I hear the swordsman behind me. Yep. You and I need to finish this faster than we do every fucking time, bud. Shit, I was trying to get one running attack. Ranged! Outranged, I mean. Fuck. Like anything but a fist weapon. I'm sure the standing up animation would have caught him for the last damage I needed. Fuck, shit, fuck. We go again. Yeah, I've never been good at fighting Silver Knights. In either Dark Souls 1 or 3. Come here. Shit, I've already got him running. Oh, man. I was circling towards the wrong arm because of Swordman. I circled into the spear, I mean, you know? Rather than towards his shield arm and just walking out of it like usual. Damn. Saw the playthrough of someone playing Elden Ring and missing the sight of grace near Rykard for like five attempts. Ooh. I did that like once, right? No, I did that. I did it in a very, very similar cave. I think Astol's. But only once then, luckily. That is unfortunate. Okay, this is the best setup we can hope for. God damn it. We can run by them. Fuck! We agreed on um, the higher 32 lives, that, uh, deaths that weren't my fault, right? You know, because it's not like riding a bike. We agreed on the higher. Seriously, what's up here beyond you guys? I shouldn't be running by them while carrying so much stuff, though. Uh, yeah, let's go by two levels and then run by them. Take me to Firelink Shrine, please. He wasn't ready. Silver Knight without parry or rough? I am Silver Knight, Blade of Gwyn. Is there anyone new here that wants to break up with me or quit their job at the club because I joined a new covenant? No, that's almost a surprise, but I'm happy. How are you doing? Welcome home. Speak. Okay. Farewell, Normal stuff. 
I sent Grey Rat out to Thieve. I forget where he said he was going. Is he bad? No, he's out. He's out right now. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I hope he's being safe wherever he is. Have I picked up anything like... No? Okay. Don't need to repair anything? Good. Have I picked up the items I need to, like, reinforce these fist weapons again and do better? No, I need three more Titanite scales. Jeez. Though I could upgrade my raw Cestus. Or one of my other weapons. Pretty be careful. I don't We're still only in large, which I think are quite plentiful, right? I could try a different weapon right now if I wanted. It's been a little while since we tried one. Let me think about that a minute. Do I have the stuff to reinforce my pyromancy flame? No, we are not collecting chunks yet. So happy to catch you live. Love your Elden Ring videos. What's up, Amber? Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm glad you enjoy. Good to have you here. Haven't got a stream for a while. Hope you're well. I am Pinhead Larry. Good to see you. Hope you've been doing well. Um... Two levels, that's what I said I was doing, and then we can worry about weapons. Let's take care of that first. I should have enough items that give me souls to do both if I want. So it'll be like 1,500 and... Or 15,000, then the next will probably be like 16,000 or less. So I need like 2,000. Wrong menu. Um, You're probably like some thousands. Ideal. Ideal. Welcome home, speak. Very well, then take no. I think I was leveling stamina last time. I didn't really have a goal for that, though. I'm not sure what I want to put it into. Hmm. Let's stop talking about the Pokemon characters we find sexually attractive anyway. I think everyone's gotten their opinion out there. And I need to fight bosses. Not go to the wiki and find out everything about these characters so I know if people need to be banned or not. Let's leave that subject behind. Okay, I have enough for two levels. Worked it out perfectly. Oh, I was doing attunement, but I got up to two attunement slots. Do I want to get more FP? I think I sort of have enough for most of what I want to do. Yeah, we can probably level something else right now. Um, 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 um. My damage feels fine, but it's not, like, amazing. Yeah, fuck it. Let's put it into damage. Two more in faith. I love Souls games so much, they're wonderful. And frustrating. And sometimes I wish the story was clearer. But overall, they're wonderful. I really do like so much more about them than the complaints I have. It's just easier to make jokes about the complaints. Just, just to be clear for anyone who's heard me complain regularly. Yeah, they're excellent. Good to see you, Justin. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Johnny Party Seed said he's gonna need all the stamina he can get to stay up all night and party. Um, oh yeah, I was already down here and don't have the stuff to upgrade my... My, 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 my. Upgrade my pyromancy flame. So I was going to decide if I wanted to try a new weapon. Uh, well, what do I have the stats for? Is there any way to just like... Is there any way to just filter this so I can only see the things that don't have a red X? We looked through these before. None of them scale nicely on, like, Int and Faith, other than, you know, the ones made for... Um... Actually, this scales on Faith really well, but it's low on Strength. Huh. Can also be used as a staff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. A lot of these need more decks than we have. Oh man, I'd forgotten how limited our selection of sort of just usable stuff was. Sometimes it's rough being a party boy. A pyromancer party boy. Sometimes it's rough. Oh yeah, I have the dark club. I could keep fighting with that. We used that on Pontiff Sullivan. 
Fuck, man, my dex really does hold me back. Shit. Have an amazing weekend as well. You make the end of Sunday so much better. I'm glad you enjoy. Thank you so much for saying that. Yeah, I'm quite limited. There's no... Uh, this doesn't leave me feeling a lot of inspiration for choosing a new weapon, man. Elden Ring had so many weapons there were to get excited about. I forgot it was significantly more limited. It's not bad. There's a lot here, but for my build, man, since you've got the variety of spells, they gave me fewer weapons. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Two hand, yeah, but I'll never remember if I'm two handing or one handing when I decide to like get the pyromancy flame out for a spell or two and then go back. It's a much safer option to choose something I can use one handed. Oh, there's the Lucerne, and we don't have the decks for it. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Jeez, 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 crap damn. Maybe we keep punching things. Maybe we keep punching things. Let's level up the raw Cestus as much as we can with large uh, Titanite shards, as I think I have a lot of them, and see how it compares to the demon fists I'm currently using. Uh, I only have five, but I can upgrade it. We're looking to get up to... So this is with the dual damage, which makes a difference. I know, I know. I would like to get somewhere up around maybe like... 200, I would feel really confident this was better. I can only buy one level. I'm not really confident this is better. Come on, dude. Fuck. Alright, I think it's the Demon Fists or our Dark Mace for the moment. None of those other ones speak to me. Boss weapons? We could check boss weapons. Could take a quick check of boss weapons. I think I've spent only one boss soul. Aha, that soul. What were they again? The boss weapons, that is. You require a lot of dex. You're probably also... Oh, you are a weapon. You're not like a, uh, you know, I thought you'd be a, a catalyst or something as well. Hollow Slayer, lots of dex. Small amount of dex. Scales with faith, too. Wolnir's Holy Sword could be quite good for us someday. But we need three levels dex, then we need to level this up. Shit, dude, I just need to, like, plan ahead. That's the real answer here. Any of these are gonna take significant resources. And I don't think you get as showered with resources. No, no. As you do late in Elden Ring, no, if you do no, lots no. of side stuff. Hmm. <laughs> All right. For now, we go on. Wabble. Back to Anne Orlando. Yeah. <sighs> Back to Thing One and Thing Two, guarding the gates. Yes. Are we ever gonna get the rest of the Onion Knight armor? No idea. That's sold by the merchant, right? It's possible, but no current idea. All right, and now for the enactment of my new plan. Fuck you. No, no, I hear you, but fuck both of you. Fuck both of you. I'm not gonna get grabbed by harpies here, all right? There, there are like harpies. Not the blacksmith! Not the, it's in his head? This is horrendous. Can you get in from here? I should be up high over the, uh, yes. Okay, it is the same as, hey there. Oh, and there's slimes down below. Okay. Cool. Today we shed a tear for the giant blacksmith. He help any time, sad, sad giant man. Are there any slimes above me? 
No. Okay, good. We got stairs down on either side. Though not quite a mirror image or anything. Uh, I think the other side would be better because I'm afraid of the deacons I saw standing there at the base of the first set of stairs. I'm afraid they'll see me down below and do this shit to me while I'm walking down at the bottom like the whole fucking time. Wow, you have real health? I was kind of hoping you'd be pushovers. Oh, right. I don't have my... Damn it. I was trying to do my, uh... Weapon art? Whatever it's called in this game. I'm here. Fuck off. At least I can stumble you. Are we out of deacons now? Maybe. All right, so this is where, in Dark Souls 1, I invaded Lautrec and fought him. I'm very afraid of there being, oh, hey, no, I'm like hollowed or whatever. There can't be anyone here that invades me. Good shit. That's the upside to dying constantly. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's other issues. Is that one of the things like, I can't remember where it was, but there was a room in the Cathedral of the Deep where one of those drops down from the ceiling, right? Bar bosses? But I beat Ornstein and Smo. Fucking hell. Come on, man. Aren't there enough of you all ready? Fuck off, on the ground. Okay, let's go get the deacons next. I tried to roll, but I'd already mashed the button and buffered that second hit. Duh, come on. Okay, <laughs> getting timing. Fucking timing. Do something, so that I feel safe getting around here and backstabbing you. And I'm gonna fight you from a lower position. I see myself swinging over that thing if I don't. Aldrich spider human, you walked past the chest. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, don't worry about pointing things out. We are all here to watch me fuck up, fail, die, and miss loot. That's the joy of the stream. For you. Generally. I know it bothers some people. I can only apologize. For me, it's only enjoyable much later. Weeks or months later, editing it together. When it feels like it happened to someone else. Did four of them drop down just since I walked out here? There's another one on the right, I think. Or is that already down and I didn't see it? There's one. Just one. Unless there's one like right above my head because I can't look up more directly than that. Sorry, no worries. I 
Pomegranates, what did I just pick up? I was looking away from the screen for the exact amount of time the notification was on screen. Oh, thought I'd found something for a second. This place has seen better days. Oh, I, I've been here in earlier days when it looked nicer. It wasn't better, though. Moonlight arrows. Oh, thank you. Okay. And this just goes back up top. Uh, I would love to open that door if it's possible, but I don't want to die to that giant monster. I don't think that's a choice I get to make. I think we just have to see what occurs. torn between trying to like shoot it and trying to get over and open the door before it knows before it throws an attack torn between trying to surprise it and I'm gonna shoot it let's take out the fight I can always run by the other enemies again remember the last time we met one of these I hid behind a door frame and I never went near it here we go I don't like it. Is that curse poison? I don't remember. Oh no. I think it's poison. There's another slime. Miss. And it ate up time. Fuck me, you're fast sometimes. Early, really? That felt so good when I did it. Crap. Good. Excellent! Not so bad. Okay, replace all the silver knights with those guys. Or the slimes. Wait, if I'm choosing, do the do it. replace all the silver knights with slimes. Aldrich's Ruby. Recover HP from crits. A malformed ring left by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, recovers HP from critical attacks. Aldrich, infamous for his appetite for flesh, apparently had the desire to share with others his joy of imbibing the final shudders of life while luxuriating in his victim's screams. I don't watch horror movies. But this item is reminding me of what I do do, which is go read their Wikipedia entries. People write some fucked up shit. First try, let's go. Punch gods, make money, buy doggo. Curse not poison, good luck with Aldrich. You are his faithful, by the way. I've got the ring. Oh, right, the covenant thing. I did join his fucking covenant. All right, let's open this thing. We don't open this thing. Is there a lever? Oh, this is a lever. Found it. Three heels. Oh, forget it. Let's just go anyway. Let's go anyway. Here at the peak of Anne Orlando, Urethil. Waiting for us behind the fog is Aldrich Devourer of Gods. Okay, this is a boss. I don't remember a lot of specifics, but they have one attack where they rain down lots of um What I remember is I hated them and it took me for fucking ever to win. They look very different to what- no, that looked more like what I imagined at the end there. 
top half. They should have shown the top half in the video. They did not capture Aldrich's best side. Whatever. Don't puke. Your vigor is kind of low for this point in the game. That's normal. Low vigor is normal vigor. This run back kind of sucks. I have to dodge two knights. Slimes aren't an issue because they'll drop down after me or move slowly. Uh, I don't love dodging fireball. Like, none of it's that hard after the knights to dodge, but it's nerve wracking. Hell yeah, let's spend two hours on one boss. Not today! It wasn't supposed to happen today. I'll go to the Irithyll dungeon if I have to. Why can't I target you? Damn it. Oh, yeah, wait, no, now what happens though? Because I died. I died. They just teleport around, alright. It hurts even then? I gotta get away when they do that. Change of colors. That chases me, that... That goes on so long. That was the attack I hated, wasn't it? Goes on so long. Oh. Aldrich is the world's most aggressive and annoying slug, and that's saying something. When I was a kid, my mom had a vegetable garden, and slugs can suck. Best attack ever made. We all do. Gotta let how they blot out the sun for 10 seconds. They don't even need to, we're already inside. I'm already fighting in the shade. Sprint it? Kind it? That was so much shorter, though. It must be like... Okay. It must be like a phase one, phase two thing. So I know how to avoid it in phase one. Run. Oh, you're over here now. Come on, I just got here. I forgot there was a follow-up to that. Eek. No damage. Ah. Alright. Thanks for the description of a dung pie on this loading screen. That doesn't feel targeted. Not at all. feel nervous stopping sprinting for a second to regenerate just a bit of stamina because I can hear their feet behind me Aldrich just did a no damage run on you their NPCs can't get achievements shut up Wait, go to Aldrich's stream then I was trying to leave early, but I buffered an extra attack. I knew what was happening there, but... 
didn't react in time while trying to combo. Maybe I want to be, like, near their tail all the time, because that seems... Like I could be safely hitting them while they're doing that. Maybe I need to be near the slug tail really often. Maybe I need to run like hell. Don't target! Don't target! I'm dead now. I targeted just because I squeezed the controller in tension. And by the way, they were mostly off screen. Meanwhile, so many times, I've tried to target someone directly in front. It's early in this boss to be this upset. It's very early. Anyway. In short, try her up. <laughs> the message is always new. They're always correct. Try butt attack. I love all the code that um, FromSoft players have come up with for their messages, all the euphemisms they've been forced to create and successfully made. If at this point they just gave us a, one of their games, but like you could use words like ass in a message, I feel like people wouldn't even know what to do with themselves. They're so used to code words. It's better. No follow-up? Why am I randomly losing targeting? Time to leave. Time to leave. Oh man. Oh shit. I had no real clue that's what was following. No, what are you doing? Nothing, that was weird. No real clue what was... How did I not see that one coming though? Okay, we're back on it. This is the start of phase two. I thought that would be 50% HP, but it is. Okay. So it's just whenever you fucking feel like it. Yeah, stamina's an issue. Get the shield out. Fire is an issue too. I'm gonna top up for safety because they're low and I've got a good deal of health. Potions. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing words rapidly. <laughs> Yeah, couple in on the butt. Okay. We're a butt fighter. Back up, back up, play safe. Top up again, play real safe. Dodge these things. Shit, with this fucking attack. Are you going away again? You can only run so long, Aldrich! You can only run so long! Ah, oh, three hours flew by, Samantha. Lord of Cinder slain. Whew. Easy game. Good shit. Good shit. Bro thinks he's Rykard. GG's. <laughs> he's him. Congrats. Easy game.
Fourth try for the win, nowhere near two hours? Hell yes. Hell yes. Let's take a look at these. Cinders of a Lord, Soul of Aldrich. Um, I think the last one was called Cinders of a Lord too, right? Does this have a different description or do they all have the same one until you put them down? They are all different, okay. Cinders of a Lord left by Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. If the Lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as Cinders. Aldrich became a Lord by devouring men. <laughs> D democracy was such a boon to the world for all of its issues and the way it's practiced. It's a, a better than this system. But was disillusioned with his throne and so took to devouring gods instead. <laughs> it, it was devouring men that was the problem, not just the devouring. <laughs> Good lord. The quest for which you have to be Aldrich twice? Well, we'll see if I find it. We'll see. Who do you think you are? I am! <laughs> oh, we picked this up in our run and I never looked at it. Uh, Giant's Coal, coal used for weapon infusion. It is said that the giant blacksmith of Anor Londo, rest in peace, was once the blacksmith of the gods until they were all eaten. Give to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use of gems for lightning. That could scale on faith. Simple. And chaos infusions. Waiter, a waiter, more gods, please. I've simply devoured these ones already. I'm such a pig. Oh, hey, I have, um, I forgot. Uh, I think I picked these up two weekends ago, last stream. I, I forgot about them. Umbral Ash of an armor merchant from an eastern land. The merchant, captain of a clan of hunters, was fascinated with weaponry. Where's the other thing I picked up? Aldrich's own soul. Soul of Aldrich, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Skipping next paragraph. When Aldrich ruminated on the fading of the fire, it inspired visions of a coming age of the deep sea. He knew the path would be arduous, but he had no fear. He would devour the gods himself. Comfort eating, taken. Jesus, to its real endgame. Wow. Should be Devourer of God single. Do a flip! Like 10 minutes behind, but you said you don't watch horror, but instead read the wikis for the story. I do the same thing. Feels good to know I'm not the only one. I think it's semi-common. I've had at least one or two other people, times I've mentioned that or something, um, agree, yeah. I don't know why, it's just, I mean, it's interesting. I see why people watch them. It's fascinating, interesting, upsetting, but sometimes in a good way. But I don't wanna watch that shit, generally. So Aldrich's Rykard, probably the closest analog, but I, I certainly couldn't answer that. Hang on. Where did I just see the... Uh... Following 99, the degree to which this character is cursed. The character will turn hollow if the curse grows too severe. 99. Should I compare that with my vigor, which is 20 and seems okay? In which case, holy shit. Or am I allowed to compare that to my HP, which is 1022 and it gets me by, in which case 99 is not even worth worrying about. I don't know what scale that's on. That is an interesting statistic. I don't know what it means. Let's pick this up just so it's not here. Taunting me. Oh, hey, that's what I've been hearing. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. That's incredibly smooth. Oh, and it's really twisting. I was about to ask, I wonder if it's actually twisting or if there's some clever way that like, obviously the platform moves up and down, but the rest of it's just like shifting textures or something. But it, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's actually twisting and turning. Chest ahead. Oh, come on. You had your painting earlier. You need to, what? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's Gwyn. I remember this lady from Dark Souls 1, but I forget anything lower about her. Uh, 
Wonder who that would be saved for. Let's go find out what we can get for Aldrich's soul. Hey, what's up, Meryl? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, friendo. That's a lot of deaths. 99 is pretty close to 100. It is. Should level your vigor some more, Chief? I just foreshot a boss, one of the ones I know I had trouble with before. I think my stats are just fine, or I'm very lucky. And I don't care to think any longer about it. I ran right by where I was going. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart. Oh wait, I, I first wanted to check these. In case there's something I obviously want to buy, I should have the souls to buy it. First wanted to check these. Aha, so. Crystal Sage, Deacon, Demon, Wolnir, Aldrich. Life Hunt Scythe, steal HP of foes using an illusory scythe. <laughs> this is a miracle. They call some funny things miracles. Aldrich dreamt as he slowly devoured the god of the Dark Moon. In this dream, he perceived the form of a young, pale girl in hiding. Dark Moon rings a bell. But I might just be thinking of my time in WoW, because they have the Dark Moon Fair there. Dark Moon Longbow. Longbow of Dark Moon Gwendolyn. No, actually, it might be these games. Gwendolyn who was gradually devoured by Aldrich. Gwendolyn was in the hidden area of Dark Souls 1. Gwendolyn... I... Gw hmm. Gwendolyn sticks in my memory better than a number of things from video games, just because uh, it's the one part of Dark Souls 1 my brother had never found before I played. <laughs> And he's the one that wanted me to play Dark Souls 1 so much. And so I was like, oh, what would you think of Gwendolyn? And he was like, what are you talking about? So they, oh, it's sort of a spiteful joy. It sticks in my memory. So I remember Gwendolyn better than average. The top half of Aldrich looked like Gwendolyn, right? Now that I think about it. That's very gradual devouring. And why was Gwendolyn firing spells and helping him that whole fight? I don't get it. Hmm. Longbow of Darkmoon Gwendolyn, who is gradually devoured by Aldrich. This golden bow is imbued with powerful magic and is most impressive with moonlight arrows. Skill Darkmoon Arrow. Infuse a readied arrow with Darkmoon Essence, granting it magic damage and the ability to pierce shields. That is super cool. We'll probably never use that, but neat. Very neat. Super neat. Now, now. Cool stuff. Do not be away over long. Devourer of gods? He's like Kirby. You are so right. Kirby, Aldrich, they're very similar. After eating Gwendolyn, you got a Gwendolyn hat and Gwendolyn's ability. Yep. Correct. What's up, Jesse? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Just missed a boss fight? GG, you did. And we were pretty fucking efficient. All right, I have a few things to hand out before I forget about them. A coal and ashes. Let's do those things. Give coal. My, my. The coal of that peaceable giant. I know. Seems like ages passed. I imagine his passing was long ago. I miss the old bugger I do. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons, never before seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he basically fully pronounced ye by the likes of ye. But they did a Y apostrophe. Okay, no one's entertained by punctuation. What am I doing now? Infuse weapon. What'd that unlock? That unlocks Lightning, Simple, and Chaos. Heavy, Sharp, Refined, Raw, Crystal, Simple. Simple makes it magical. In what way is that simple? Simple makes it magical? Okay. Uh. Interesting. This 
reduces the other scalings and adds magic scaling and magic damage. This, I think it's just the same, but less so. Because see, dexterity, it's red. It does go down, but it doesn't go from D to E like here. It just goes D to worse D. And this gives you B scaling magic. This gives you C scaling magic. That is an insanely slight difference. I feel like I've fully understood that. Or on the other hand, what a choice they gave you. Okay, this downgrades the other scalings and adds faith. We should probably have a lightning weapon at some point. I think that'd be fun to try. Just need to pick something fun to infuse. And there was... There was Chaos. Chaos Gem. Chaos Gem does fire damage. Um, it scales with everything. It downgrades significantly the strength and the deck scaling, but it adds decent scaling for both Int and Faith. This is the Pyromancy infusion. Ah. However, it would be nice to not have only fire damage at our disposal. So... Lightning still looks more appealing to me. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Pretty be careful. Do you speak with Grey Rat? Grey Rat is out stealing right now. Um, I truly do not recall where I sent him to steal. Ah, well, I hope he's coming back. We'll see. How may I be of service? Umbral Ash. Gracious. Easterner's Ashes. Fine ash thou hast given. They described the merchant in the ash description as um, an armor merchant, I think. So I'm expecting this will add some armor. Are these large? Okay. I know you sold those or sold one. Uh, where is the armor? Chain, chain, chain. I think you had that before. Undead Legion. We bought one piece of that, right? Helm of Favor. Lotric stuff. Oh, and here's the Eastern stuff. Smo's stuff? Exile Mask. Right. This was here before, but, um... Pomegranates, is this a Dark Souls 2 reference? Or am I overthinking this? No, it's a character from this. Watchdogs of Faron's Keep. For a second, I was wondering, is this the like a reference to the guy locked in the dark in two? Um, which one of these do I find most interesting? Probably uh, Lawtrex or the Eastern set. Um, either's super stupid expensive, but it'd be fun. Helm of the Pitiable Embraced Knight. I do not pity him. I kill him. Depicts the affection of the goddess Fina. Adrift on the sea of isolation, only his faith and the love of his goddess remained true, and so the knight forsook all else. Distinctive helm made in an eastern land, the exquisite craftsmanship and artistic design made these prized pieces in the collection of any nobleman. Offers excellent damage absorption, particularly from slashing attacks from katanas, which are commonly encountered threats in battles fought in the east. Did I ever kill the uh, guy beside the str- I'm not sure I did. One. Be sure I don't think I did. <laughs> Looks like Sinner's Mask. Is Gimp's Mask party? There, It's pretty fucking party. It's a very specific kind of party. Get consent, make sure everyone's comfortable, but it's a fucking party once everyone's agreed. Once you find a group of people that are agreed. This doesn't put me overweight, does it? Shit, bud. That's pretty wild. That does put me overweight, but we need the defense against katanas. Night all, thanks for hanging out, Woo Romy. Have a wonderful evening. Sleep well, sweet dreams if you're off to bed or have fun with whatever else you're doing. Oh, did I kill them? I thought I hadn't. Well, I did it the hard way then. Aren't I impressive? Okay, let's take some of this off. It's too heavy. That's better. 
What class are you playing? Samantha, what class did we start as? Whichever one has like tens and everything, right? You made me start as the sad class. Didn't you? Or am I crazy? Does it tell you on your character sheet after you start? Pyromancer or a wretch? Oh yeah, I think we started as a wretch. We've built them into a pyromancer. We're very impressive. Everybody loves us now. We're great. Ooh, do I have any idea what to drop for those birds up top? We haven't gone back to experiment with them in a while. I don't remember what I dropped the first time that they liked. Uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't recall. I'm gonna have to like check my own VOD or spend some time experimenting and I don't feel like experimenting right now. <laughs> Crap. Well, oh well. Very well, then take them. So our damage seems okay. I kind of feel like we don't have enough stamina, goddammit. I also kind of want even more faith, more faith. Um... Jesus, I feel like I've ended up building this character like all around, which is not great. I don't like playing all around characters. Uh, 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 uh. It makes a difference of 40 health. Yeah, let's buy some more vigor. That makes a difference of 40 health for one point. Let's take vigor to like 25 or something. Deprived, that sounds more like it. I think it's called Deprived in the Souls games. Yes, I think we are deprived. We sure look depraved. I think we are deprived. Whoops. Your agility's crazy slow? It'll be fine. Most enemies have high resistance to fire. Who cares? Enemies resisting your attack generally means you have to hit them three more times. Like, a, like you have to hit a boss like three more times. You have to hit a normal enemy like once more, maybe. I don't think resistances matters half the time. I'm also not super successful in these games, so you don't need to believe me. But that's what I think. Shit, I still have 10k. That's not that much anymore, though. Okay, we have... That's funny, the other one isn't, like, um, locked in like that, is it? No, it's more open. I guess maybe they go different places. Let's do this one first. Wretch deprived and my favorite, waste of skin. Is that Bloodborns or something? Oh, hey, way back. Uh, I never went back to that chest. I need to go back to that chest in the area before this hall. Do that in one second. Never knows those drapes. Why not go down first? I don't think either of them goes down. I'll have to look at them again. In here is where, um, Jesus, God, I wish I remembered that woman's name. The giant lady, hang on, I don't need to say giant chess lady, even though I don't remember her name. The giant lady was in here. Why did it take me so long to think of that? I'm really stuck on, uh, I should just drop it, let's drop it. Sun Princess Ring. Hang on, what do you have to say about this? That's not even accurate! Shit. Gradually restores HP. Ring associated with Guinevere, Princess of Sunlight, and eldest daughter of Gwyn, the first lord. So Guinevere, Gwendolyn, hang the fuck on. I had assumed that was uh, Gwyn and like his uh, wife, his queen. The statues are, downstairs are Gwyn, his daughter, and he doesn't have one for Gwendolyn just because they're non-binary or whatever. And I'm making an assumption there, but what the fuck? 
Ring associated with Guinevere, Princess of the Sunlight, eldest daughter of Gwyn, the First Lord. The ring is vaguely warm, like a beam of sunlight, and gradually restores HP. Guinevere left her home with a great many other deities and became a wife and mother, raising several heavenly children. Doors? Not doors, maybe? Are these doors? All right. So, I think we've reached one dead end, which means we could go to the dungeon, which means we should go to the dungeon. Hang on, let me keep thinking about this. Maybe it's only could go to the dungeon or anywhere else. I don't think there is. Let's go to that chest. Oh, and I have to check the other side because it didn't go up there. Yes, there is somewhere else to go. I have to check the other side because it doesn't go up the same place. Ah, oh, we don't have to go to the dungeon. Yeah. Hey guys. Oh uh, crap, I wish I remember where the chest was because there's actually a whole bunch of people here that want to shoot me. So I, you know, don't want to like linger here fighting. I am fine with this drop down so that I can do this. Also, I assume the big guy isn't going to respawn. Looks like he's not there. Dickheads. I thought it was too far away for you to do that. Okay. Bad time to top up. I didn't get to roll between those, even? Roll backwards. Okay. Do something. Do something, huh? Do something. It ignored my heavy push. I'm blaming the new wireless setup, even though it's been flawless since uh, the, the rest of the stream. It has been very good. But I'm blaming it. Okay. What weapon is he using? Yes, Lucas is right. I'm using the Demon's Fist, which is Stray Demon, I think. It's either Stray Demon or just Demon. Um, Soul. Transposed. All right. Uh, treasure chest, treasure chest, treasure chest. I doubt it was up higher. Pretty certain I saw it in the middle of fighting, and I didn't start fighting until I went down. Yeah. It's not gonna be up there. But the dungeon's fun! It's probably... I mean, like... None of these places are good. How much worse could the dungeon be than anywhere else? So... Yeah, we'll... We'll go there. Soon. Chest, 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 chest. Oh, there you are. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta, ch I don't wanna get it eaten. Do you need to breathe? Are you one of the breathing chests, aka a mimic? Wait, I could just punch it. We already figured this out. Okay, we're good. Good shit, yes. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. No hugs, sir. Not today. I mean, chilling in a dungeon does sound party. Once again, it's the kind of thing where if everyone's consenting, it can be pretty party, sure. It's dark and hard to see. Plus all the slimes I'm worried about. So you go up, but you don't go to the same place. Save me from going to the dungeon. Where do you go? You do go to the same place. Why are, uh, uh, I guess we're going to the dungeon.
couldn't walk on the fucking, like, thing, could you? Yeah, I think I can see below it and there's nothing down there. I was wondering if it could be, like, a staircase down below. I'm not gonna run all the way to the dungeon. What do you think you're doing, Hydro? I already have... the bonfire for it. First time on DS3, my second, but it has been years and years and years. So I've forgotten almost everything. You just gotta put that gimp mask on for the consenting dungeon party. All right, the Irithyll dungeon. Like, it's just a name, right? Is there anywhere else to go? Like, I feel like I left something behind, but just, I can't remember. Hmm. Fucking hell. Oh, hey. Were you the one screaming? Are you like a re-dead from Ocarina of Time or something? What is, what is that even built into the wall for? Hi. Okay. Anything hidden back here? Check the backs of these places. Not like the scream came from this side. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The right smoldering lake. We could go to smoldering lake. All right, I'll just do the dungeon. No worry. But smoldering lake. I should write that down because I will forget I have somewhere else after this. Smoldering lake. I hit start like I can pause. Sounds so near to me. Hey. Hey. What the fuck? What is that the peace sign? Are you alone? Uh, it kind of looks like it. They look like the easily staggered enemies. Let's try it. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. Who's footsteps am I hearing? Oh, it's like a prison setup, so there could be cells below me. I could be hearing them. I'll never know. It's locked, okay. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this place. Every place is horrible. We'll find out how this place is horrible soon enough. Hey. We'll find all its specific horribleness. Lied about this being the worst place in the game, sorry about that. Oh, no worries. They come with peace, sign, to burn into your flesh from the looks of things. Look, despair. You pause by going to the help page? Uh, yeah, I think I knew that. I think someone told me that at one point. We'll be alright without it. Don't grab me. Should I be doing this? Do you guys even attack? Hey! Just gonna let that dissipate. Go! Oh, there's a second. <laughs> Shit. Where'd my health go? 
What the fuck? I bought Vigor, right? I know I'm like known for not buying Vigor after Elden Ring, but I bought Vigor. I bought Vigor. I had Vigor. 21 Vigor. But that health was not correct. Not at all. Mm, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, now. That's what you do? I, th I thought you did nothing, so I was just gonna walk past you. Do you do the same thing? It's mean. Come over here, I'll give you the spin. Is there anyone else behind me? Yep. Are they coming? They are. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not ready for the spin! Hang on! Why am I heavy rolling? Why the fuck am I heavy rolling? Where's my health? What the fuck? No! This is bad. This is bad. It's coming back. It's coming back. Well, the maximum's coming back. But that's not all I lost. The smoldering lake, you say? Jeez, dude. Must be something they're doing? I didn't, like, get grabbed by the zombies, so I doubt it's them. Must be something they're doing? Like the cloud attack? I assume that was poison. Jeez, 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 jeez. Place is fun and interactive, huh? So fun and interactive. I love interacting with it. It's so fun. Had my college presentation and finally got my degree. Fucking congrats, Jodica. That's fantastic. 10 out of 10. Beautiful outcome. Pleased and proud for you. Well fucking done. GG, easy game. G fucking G. I took my hand off the controller. Did you fucking do that? Don't fucking scream while I'm looting. Oh, hey. Oh. Uh, I can't like go out on these things, can I? Uh, no, probably not. Okay, so we can go across the other side, or whatever this is, which is bigger than the cells. This goes down. what I just hear? I just heard one of you. And we have cages. Are you alone? Because I'll drop right on your head. I don't give a shit about the cages. Let's drop right on your head. I'll take every advantage against you that I can get. Now let's work our way slowly, safely through these. Slowly, safely, I said. Maybe we just shoot them. I just tested you for that. I don't recommend fist weapons. Ever. Do your thing. Do it. I missed him the second hit of that supposed combo. 
and you get to interrupt me in the middle of it and everything. I mean, that might happen to any weapon. If you can interrupt a fist weapons combo. I doubt there are many much, much faster ones. That's a door, but also locked. I feel like I'm hearing someone else's footsteps, but I think I'm fooling myself. Uh. Uh. Jump scare dungeon? Yeah, why? Like, the enemies are bad enough. They kill you in a, just, like, a few hits. Even if you've bought vigor as I have. Some of them steal your maximum health. Why do they need to scream at you while you're just getting loot, too? Bastards. We need to find, like, keys to the jail. Wonder if they'll be somewhere in the jail. It does seem most likely. Or hidden somewhere completely separate. And I'll come back once I get them. Come back a second time. I think they'll probably be in here, so we'll keep going. Old sorcerer hat, coat, gauntlets, and boots. Check the description real quick. Traditional attire worn by sorcerers of the Vinheim Dragon School. Long ago, sorcerers were said to always dress properly, even while on distant journeys of discovery, even before such journeys were established curriculum. That's properly? That's boring. The sad stylishnessless existence for them. Need the jailer's key? I mean, it's a jail. I need keys. I figured they'd be jailer's keys. We'll find them. Any of you alive? You don't look like the other ones. What happened to you? What's on you? Did your circulatory system separate from you? Is this how they do the bodies exhibit? Oh my god, it's even less ethical than I thought. Which is saying something. Oh, you're like maggots. I thought you were one of the circulatory systems. I fought you guys out in, um, I forget where. You hate fire, don't you? I'm pretty sure you hate fire. Is this open? <laughs> come out here and say that. Try to get an angle for a fireball and you just wouldn't come out here. Hang on. Back on this! Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. Try again. There we are. Oh, hey, I landed it. Easy peasy. Great magic shield. Cool. 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 So far, so good. I don't have any way I've noticed to descend another level on this side, right? Do I need to go back up and cross over? Or... Did I miss anything in here? I can't remember if I tested that wall. It glows green right here for no obvious reason. I'm not sure that means anything, though. Doesn't seem to. Hey, what's up, Stan? Good to see you. What's up, first YouTube stream I've caught? Hey, Hydro. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Good to have you here. Hope you enjoy the stream. Dance with fire. Great! Magic shield! Fire looking pretty good right there. Yeah, fire's fantastic against them. Fire's been my savior against a number of enemies. Actually, is there anything like that? Pomegranates, just in other games from Soft Makes. Not Dark Souls 3, just in their other similar games. There's There are a number of things that react to fire. Uh, the one that comes to mind are the giant hands from Elden Ring. Hit them with fire and they have a similar reaction rolling around and being all fucked up. Is there... Are there enemies in their other games that have anything like that reaction to things other than fire? Is there anything that you hit with magic and it gets, like, completely tied up? I'm trying to think of even what the reaction would be. You know, rolling around burning is an obvious sort of bonus reaction to something weak to fire. I can't think of the, what the magic version would be. But is there anything that does, like, a magic version or something? Yes, on dogs. Blood tinge. What does blood tinge on dogs do? What am I hearing? Zombie or big motherfucker? 
Well, there's one big motherfucker down there, but I don't think that's what I'm hearing. Can I go through here? Yep. You want to come down this way? I don't want to walk past whatever I'm... I think it's you. Whatever I'm hearing. On my way to something even worse. I don't want to, but I have to. Christ. Got a tip for you? No tips, please, but thank you for wanting to help. No tips, tricks, guidance, suggestions, or even reminding me of things I once knew. We're here to watch me forget, fuck up, fail, misunderstand, and lose. This shock and Sekiro count. I guess it, I mean, in a literal sense it does. They tell you that, like it's a built-in mechanic, so it's a bit of a different thing, but it has a similar effect, yeah. Blood Tinge sends them flying. Does he do a special intro? We play Game Duel, which is this guessing game. You get like pieces of the cover of a game and you, you try to guess what game it is. Uh, we play that together at the start just while I'm warming up, getting used to speaking aloud, presenting, being in front of the camera, etc. I thought you'd come this way, but you won't because you hate me. How bad an idea is this? It's a good idea. This is a good idea. I was worried I was going to lose tons of health while doing it. But you're going to lose tons of, I lost tons of health too. It was an okay idea. Mm, mm, mm. Poison on land squirts makes them explode in Elden Ring. Yeah, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. I never discovered that. That's cool. That's cool. Healing magic on grafted creatures. Wait, on all grafted creatures? Someone told me that about revenants after I beat the game, which sucks because revenants were like... The absolute worst enemy for me. Didn't like bears. Never ever learned to fight revenants. I took on some bears. Never liked fighting a revenant. I think I killed like two ever. And avoided any others I saw. You've lost health? That happens often while I play. We have their mask! We can infiltrate! Mask worn by Jailers of Irithyll Dungeon, Noblemen delighted in its plump features. In its plump features? I'm only looking at the thumbnail. Let me get a closer look here. Well, that's setting the standard quite high. Not only do they have a dungeon full of monstrous beings, but they also body shamed. Ridiculous. Jailers were among the few survivors inhabiting the profane capital. Uh, well, I guess they were delighted by it. That's not shamed. I'm bringing a modern perspective to this made-up fantasy world. The jailers were among the few survivors inhabiting the profaned capital, later serving under Pontiff Sullivan. Perhaps these screams emanating from the cells help them forget their old home. Cool. Delightful. Did they often forget they were wearing a mask? Because it looks like a lot of food was smeared here. Were they like, oh yeah, I love cake, but yeah, I'll have a piece. Oh right, of course, gee, I had to wait, I just wasted a bit there. How'd that happen? I'm hearing that from in here. My hearing. What the fuck am I hearing? It's like, but what the fuck was that? What the f- Hey. Wait, it was looking at me a second ago. Is it like cool with me? What the fuck else am I hearing though? I hate this place. Are you like a fucking merchant or something? Why are you just staring at me? It's worse with the light gradually revealing its face. What's up? Love ahead. Nope. Do you talk? That's more like it. We'll write that one good. Your hat keeps so floaty. Don't think that's food? Probably seared spattering. Friend ahead. He's crying, be nice. I don't think he's the one making noise. It's very clearly coming out of my right headphone right now. But I don't see where, where, oh hey, those two textures don't quite meet up, right? 
I don't see where it's coming from. Maybe it's like below me and I'm hearing it through the stone. Oh, I forgot what floor I was on. We found our way down yet again. But on the other side this time. That's a good shortcut to open. What's over here on the rest of this floor before I consider going down? Item in there. Wait, jailbreaker's key? Wouldn't it be easier to pick locks? You broke out of the jail by l developing a key. That's impressive. Key to the barred window in the Aerithel dungeon. I think I know where that is. But the window only leads to a bottomless black pit below and above a paltry view of the ruined profane capital. Doesn't sound like we need to go there. Actually, that sounds like exactly where you need to go in these games. The very architecture appears to be a cruel joke the jailers played on would-be escapees. We'll hang on to that. We'll continue this direction for the moment. We still have a lot of heals, even if we're all out of FP. I forgot to put the Ashes of the Lord of the Cinder on the throne, by the way. Have you beat Tears of the Kingdom? No. This week, in fact, we'll be playing more. This week over on... there's two. This week over on twitch.tv slash rx underscore hydro. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I'll be streaming and it will be a mixture of Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3. If you want to see either of those. There's three. There's actually three. Um, you guys seem like you have this covered. I don't think you need another for your party. I hate it. I wish I could shoot them. Going for it. I think you're alone. Good. Good. Still lost maximum health. Probably from whatever you were doing. Wait, but there was no cloud. So it's not the cloud. I guess they have a spell. Fan fucking tastic. Why would I want to be able to see when it's happening? Oh, there's more of you. This place is just great. Hi there. Mm, I'd like to believe those are just masks. It's a good chance there's heads in them, but let's think they're just masks for now. You're alive. You're a living thing. <laughs> How do you decide whether to stream on Twitch or YouTube? I check the calendar. And if it is a Sunday, I'm on YouTube. If it is not, I am on Twitch. The last one was friendly! That schedule could change in the future, but right now that's the way I do it. This game's finding a lot of for varied ways to be upsetting today. It would be impressive if I didn't hate it. Damn, I was gonna do two and then back off because I remember getting interrupted before. I can't even do two. Who's to my right? It sounded like another cage. Didn't think it would be so active until I got nearer though. Fucking range bullshit. Get him! Crystal Lizard. No jailers. Uh, that lizard is almost certainly a trap, and I'm ready to fall for it. Away we go! Get to the right, get to the right, drive it in there. Good shit! <laughs> Yeah, that's a wonderful, wonderful pickup. I need like at least one more, I think, for one of uh, my demon's fists, but nice. Good stuff. Because you know, thank you, you're super welcome. We never say that everyone is friendly. We just guaranteed you the one was. 
you need to be more careful with your reading while playing a From Software. Aren't you closely reading everything? No, clearly not, from my interpretation of everything in these games. Clearly not. AI voice Raven? You have six flasks? I'm not sure I know the AI voice called Raven. Are you guarding an item or something? I'm gonna come in and fight you, so you're aware. Are we fighting? Yeah, it seems like we're fighting. You have a dagger, we're definitely fighting. Who armed you? What do you spit? Don't answer that, I'd actually rather not find out. Praise the silence. I think... That was the only reason to kill them, was to stop hearing them. Grim. Alright, so this door over here is locked, and I do not know how to get into it. Oh, you could come from the other side, possibly, or something. Uh, I was going to say, I don't know how to, like, drop down in there. Because I've already been one floor above and didn't see it, but that's not necessarily how you get in there. We have a key to the barred window. But I've progressed so much, it would be wonderful to get the next bonfire. This looks important. This looks very important. Homeward Bones. They're telling me I should leave. Is that the Lord Vessel? I guess there's, it doesn't help me if I know that or not. Pomegranates, is that the Lord Vessel from Dark Souls 1? I think there might be screeching. How do you get to there? Maybe the barred window. Mmm, these two enemies are new. I still have a lot of heals, but I don't have any fireballs. Uh, I don't want to fight my way back down here if I go through the barred window and do something else. We go this direction. We have a bow. Oh, hey, you fucking... There's another arrow coming my way in a second here. Um... I can't get you to come after me, can I? Please tell me there isn't, like, another of you down here. Oh, good, 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 yeah, come up with me. Even if there is a third, let's separate. Arrow, go. Is that it? Seems like it probably is. Cool. All right. Please, God, give me a bonfire. Please, please, please. You don't think so? Spicy Lord Vessel? No, not to my knowledge? Okay. All right. I really thought I might be, like, finally making sense of these games. Look at how far away we are. It was, behind, it, was, it was in that further area. And I'm trying to guess what it is. Who do I think I am? Who do I think I am? Lord Vessel is broken in Majula, the town in Dark Souls 2. Lord Vessel from Dark Souls 1 is broken in DS2. Couldn't... It, it's impossible it's been remade, though. Maybe there's no reason to think it's been remade. They could just make a whole other bowl. There's a barred window and a barred window. If you find the right one, there's a live band waiting. Dark Souls 2 and 3 are connected? Yes. I'm only hesitant because I don't want to say how connected they are because there's like varying degrees of connectedness between any of them. I think 1 and 3 are more, you're a fucking mimic. Is there a bonfire before I fight this thing? Is there a bonfire? Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Come here. Come back this way. Next. Now the others see me.
Wait, one of them's like shooting at me. Yeah, yeah, two of them are. God, there's five. Maybe you want to come back here, or am I supposed to rush in and, um, I'm starting to hate fist weapons. If I had a sword, it would suck, but I could go in there and hit two or three at a time. As it is, life is hard. Or slow if I choose to try and draw them back a bunch, which, uh, they're not really participating in after the first. Oh, no, 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 I got a bit here, I got a bit. Yeah, I got a taker. We got a live one. All right, let's go in and try to kill them. They don't have a ton of health, especially the archers. Neither do I. Oh, I have no FP, so I don't get... There's another one! That was better than I worried it would be, but incredibly nerve-wracking as expected. There's still another. Please tell me you are at least alone. I am a weary warrior. Very weary warrior, weary soul. That's like a one-leg drop. I think there were openings on one or both sides of this, so hello. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that a slime? Is that anything? Uh, okay. Hello. Another one-way drop. Onto what I think is a giant's wrist. Remember, I'm just trying to find a bonfire, and I've already done a lot of work to get as far as I am, and they want me to drop onto a giant's wrist. Great. We're doing this just because it's the one I can undo if I want to or have to. You know, the others I'm not sure. There's that giant. I'm not sure about. Is that an enemy? I think those are just remains, actually, I was looking at. I assume you're gonna wake up when I come in here. Tiny little hole in the wall, and I think there's an enemy standing in it. I might be mistaken. Friend ahead, therefore don't you dare. Oh! It's already too late. It's already too late. I've already lost. I'm used to the feeling, just not quite with that timing. Hmm. <laughs> Rear ahead, therefore try two-handing. It's just you know, like hop dash full of rats. What in the hell, dude? And people get mad about Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, enemy placement. What about this fucking game? We had enough, like, seven or eight major enemies ago in this area. We had plenty. Where do these drops go to? Try one of them. Actually, you know what I'm definitely going to do? We're gonna add the fucking homeward bone to my quick items in case I need to leave soon with all these, all these souls because I'm really, I'm being very, very tentative. I'm being boringly slow, but I'm so worried about all these souls. I'm up top. What does that get me? It does get me something. All right. He is friend. We don't have to hit him. Victory! There's a rat waiting for us, though. Still. Good outcome. Hydro found out he dropped down the wrong hole. I remembered, luckily, which one had the wrist in it and avoided that. Oh, I, yep, I actually know this hallway. 
this is one of the things I remember from this game. It just flashed on. I, I hadn't thought about it since first playthrough. I know this hallway. I know rats aren't the only things that come pouring out of it. Holy shit, though, they are proving to be an issue. Can't fucking hit them. Um, if uh, my entire memory is correct, giant rat down this way, and a whole other surprise up this way, but I think the bonfire is this way, so we'll try. Man, your feet are raw-dogging that sewer. That they are. <laughs> Was I right about where I am? Wait, hang on. Oh, is it further down? Is it where I am now? Hang on a sec. Where is it? Where is it? No, 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 no. As bad as being right would be, now I'm panicked. I'm thinking of someplace else. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I can hear... There's supposed to be a million googly-eyed basilisks, and I can hear them croaking, but they're waiting for me to come check this shit out? <sighs> okay, you seem to be okay. You seem to be okay. Let's give it the final test. Safe. Do you, how long can you hold your breath for? Also, there are basilisks, swarms of rats, and one of you. Oh, am I out of Estus Flasks? I didn't, never, never noticed that had happened. Don't laugh at me. Stop it, Valdo. I just needed one more hit, and I thought I would go for it. Um, just a string of bad decisions for the last, feels like an hour, string of them. Sorry if you answered this before, what build are you going for? Every time I go back with experience and decide to buy a level, I come at, I come at it with fresh eyes, like I've never seen the game before and don't understand the mechanics. And whichever one just sort of speaks to me, I buy that level. I compose a poem in my head, and whatever seems the next step in that poem, the next phase of my artistic journey, I invest in that. It's an awful idea, but that's what I'm doing. That's, it's, there's no real build. I have to go back down there, because, like, yeah, the barred window, but there's 26,000 waiting for me down there. Let's wait for this cloud to disperse and then go kill them. You all can fuck off. You can go to hell. That's the barred window. This is where we go down, but we need to go across then down, so I need to fight the one over here. Come back to me, health. Come on back. Also, is that zombie still coming? Yeah. The one behind reached through his friend. Such a beautiful and eloquent explanation. Thank you. Does just touching them drain your max HP? I, I think... I don't know what it is. I assume it's like an incantation they have or something, but I don't know. I haven't seen what they do when it happens. Oh, we opened the shortcut so I can go this way. Once I go this way... Ooh, there's a room with a bunch of them that I... think I should just run through. If I run through, I go to the left. There are no jailers. Yeah, I think we just run through this. This might be a really bad idea. Nope. It's wise. It's wise and clever and makes you so much more attractive. 
Except I expected to be able to run by you. I didn't forget they were there, I just didn't expect them to react that quickly. Okay, and now this horse shit. Do you remember a key to the barred window? Yes, I do. But we're not doing that because that will possibly risk my life in some awful situation with like 26k souls waiting down here for me to go pick up. So we're gonna go pick them up first. Easy game. That's so much easier with confidence. Though to be fair, it's I'm confident because I know where the you're a mimic. I remember. So we'll leave you. Oh, uh, which direction am I going in here? I can just drop down to the giant. No, I need to drop down on the high side, so I need to get behind them. Oh. Oh. What are the odds I can run through them? Low? Like run through them safely? Probably pretty low. Yeah, probably pretty low. Boom, get interrupted. Keep moving. Because they're coming, keep moving. All right, now the rats. This, anyone else would have such an easy time of rats, but now we can go check out the barred window. Now we can go back to town and get a different weapon. Shit, man. Colossus, thanks for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Sleep well, sweet dreams, friendo. Let's go get an entirely new goddamn weapon. Back to Firelink Shrine. Does this game have a system for fast traveling between bonfires? I think so. Now we can do Smoldering Lake. No, I'm getting this dungeon done. I'm doing it. I believe in myself. I just, it's mainly because I know that I'm stubborn. I believe in my ability to just stick with it as fucking awfully as it goes. Now, which yeah, one of you takes an Estus wasn't. Shard? I think you do. Reinforced Flask. Thank you. More uses. Let's a lot Estus. Like, at least that. I might even want to do one more, but at least that will be good. And let's pick a weapon to infuse. Um, 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 um. I don't know. What can I wield that feels rather Johnny Party Seed? What's my actual strength right now? 20, I think. Pickaxe, Great Club, Large Hood, Drang Hammers. What weapon, what weapon, what weapon? Uh, what I am. Um... What do special weapons take again? Titanite scales. There's something less than Titanite scales, though. What comes before Titanite scales? Or, or is Titanite scale the lowest level of those materials? Shards, shards. Twinkling Titanite. I think Twinkling Titanite. No, scale is what it is. So I don't want to... Shit. Wow, all right. Okay, uh, that just means that we have to be careful how we spend those, because I may want them for these fist weapons. Some places they're good, it's just these hordes of rats, no, no, no. Let's find a weapon we can swing left and right. Maybe we'll just infuse our broadsword and go back to that. Oh, and the other thing I was checking those materials for was that means there's no, like, lesser Titanite scale, version of a Titanite scale, that I've got ten of lying around that I could use to upgrade some other soul-transposed weapon right now. That's what I was mainly checking for. Can I, should I, go buy another soul-transposed weapon right now and pump it up to be about as powerful as the fists and hopefully have a better move set? No. Was the answer. Um, all right, quick check of these. So the broadsword I started the game with. Not impressive, but a perfectly average serviceable swing with a good speed. The broken straight sword, this is gonna do fuck all. 
Yeah, but we didn't, I'm not going to use a broken weapon. Might be funny, maybe we should use a broken weapon for the laughs of it, but I already have little enough range. Deep reinforced club. Right. That's not quite the swinging wide left and right. You know, that's a hammering motion. Axes. Axes, axes. Hand axe. Brigand axe. These are the same weapon family. They have pretty good swings. More at an angle, but they're neat. Maybe an axe. Any other weapon types I've got lying around here? Pickaxe counts as a great hammer. Not huge space coverage. Kinda like it, but doesn't swing left to right like I was hoping. I think it may be, boringly, the sword. I think we should go and fuse this and use this. Huh, I was like trying out a new weapon whenever I'm changing, but I think this is the only one that really makes sense. Fists? Fists are proving a death sentence against rats and hordes of enemies, and this place seems to be about hordes of enemies. Didn't know you streamed on YouTube? I do on Sundays. Ah, it is good, wasn't it? Rarely others. Yeah, usually it's Sundays, Dark Souls 3. Um, and then Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Scythe requires Dex. Nice content. Really gets me going. You're nutting to my content. No one's ever told me it made them that happy. But I've always believed I had that power over people. It's nice to be proved correct. Others just told me I was a narcissist when I told them I thought I could do that. Right? TMI? It was. Great sword for range? I don't own a single great sword I think I can wield. Be I think I have none. <laughs> we want an Elden Ring stream on YouTube? You've gotten 15 of them. I did an entire randomizer run on YouTube. Um, it's under the live tab. Just the way YouTube does things. Because I streamed it on YouTube, it doesn't go with videos, it goes under live. But that was a ton of fucking fun. I know it's not the same as live content, but anyone who hasn't watched that and likes randomizer runs, I had a fantastic time. Yeah, we don't have a single greatsword or ultra greatsword I have the attributes for, unfortunately. Oops, never mind. I have. Yes, I have, clearly. I enjoyed it so much, I might do another live stream of a uh, randomizer at some point. What's more likely, uh, and I'm not promising this or giving you any kind of schedule, no idea when or if, but a bunch of people have told me about mods they'd like to see me try on Elden Ring. Um, the one that gets suggested most often would be Convergence. Uh, they've also said Convergence for Dark Souls 3 is a worthwhile mod. So there's maybe a slightly better chance of seeing like that instead of another randomizer, but another randomizer is certainly possible. Okay, so let's infuse this motherfucker. I need, um, yeah. Pretty, I, go. I need some souls. Eight thousand is a fantastic opening bid. Ah, what neat. You buy some weapons from the old lady. That's a good point. I'll check that first. I totally forgot about NPCs. That is an excellent point. Show me your your weapons. All right, dagger and short sword, which is a straight sword style weapon. I bet that has worse sweeps. Hammer, staff, no. Hammer I already know about, and straight sword I doubt, straight sword and dagger I doubt have like the motions I'm looking for to get through this. Good suggestion though, I've totally forgotten about her. Totally forgotten about her. The Morning Star, it probably has an attack similar to the club or maybe the axe. Uh, it's possible, I just, I'm not confident it's gonna have full left to right sweeps, you know, rat clearing attacks. We need the weapon that has rat clearing attacks. Or wait, Pretty be could just go in with I go. <laughs> with. I didn't attune any other spells. We're gonna do two things. I'm already committed to this. Let's go ahead and infuse the weapon and try out a new infusion. But I'll also bring the exploding fireball and try that. Yeah, I want to try the lightning one. This looks like fun. Infuse with the lightning. That gives me. 
How's that compare with like Blessed or whatever? Oh right, this is the one that like heals you at the same time. That's why it drops the damage down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're doing lightning. Good, good, good. Good might be overstating it. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Chaos would be better for this character. Not by a lot. Stop dilly-dallying and do it. All right, reinforce the weapon now. I'm sure I have Titanite shards for this thing. Probably even large Titanite shards for this thing. But not enough. Large Titanite shards for this thing. We are up to 114 plus 114. I've got really no idea how that compares to the weapon we're leaving, the Demon Fists. Hopefully it's good. Ideally it would be good. Have you considered the Claymore? I probably don't have the strength or dex. I didn't specifically look at the Claymore, not that I noticed, but if I skipped it, it's because it had a red X, meaning I cannot wield it. Hey, while we're home, let's put the ashes on the throne. So we just got Aldrich. Aldrich's is the, the throne with the tarp over it. Because slimy, right? There we go. Nice. Uh, read engraving. Yeah. Do you say anything about these? I forget if that changes anything. I don't think it did after doing the uh, Watchers. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say... Lord Slayer. Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? E and all slain by thy hand. Oh, I have in Thanks what he usually says. Now, now. For a second I thought it was different. I think that's what he usually says. Quick check on this. Nothing. Welcome, husband. Oops, no. That's getting way, way, way more expensive. Oh, we should, we should do this. I mean, I can't like this second, but I should save up and do that. Ashen one, dissolve. I'm ashen. Getting way more expensive. I didn't realize that was rising. Quick check of NPCs. Ow. Oh, champ, do you wish to hear a tip? You know, in my eye with a tip. Nothing new to say. Back again, I so I don't mean to stick in the fight. You don't say anything new? I just tried you earlier, right? Or was that just the reinforce menu I checked? Ah, you found a tome in the catacombs. This spell is akin to chaos. It may even serve as a link to Isolith, home of pyromancies. This is the one he wouldn't take earlier, right? Yeah. I'm afraid I cannot accept this. Are you not interested this in connecting with the home of pyromancies? And delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look around you, bud. It's time to delve into the depths. It's 3 a.m. The party's gone a bit weird. Go with it. Speak thy desire, honorable lord of hollows. Think healing the Dark Sigil co cost goes up as you level? That's what it seems like. Yes, I do, I do. You want me to marry her? Okay. No one here seems to say anything new. Good check. Back to my work. Back to what I was doing. I guess I didn't check with you after touching the thing. You're not going to say anything new. But I like to know I looked. Ah. No. All right, thanks for the patience, Samantha. I'm just never confident until I actually talk to them all like, oh, did I sit at the thing? Do you need to? Does it matter? Um, we need to go back to the dungeon. I infused. I did everything else I needed to. Yeah, the only other thing I could do if I wanted was buy... It's actually not a bad idea. Do you sell just oh. one large Titanite shard or do you sell a lot? Ooh, it's four fucking thousand? I'm still curious. You sell a lot. Ashen. So, with 12,000 more, we could buy the rest of the shards needed to upgrade this weapon again. Not cheap. How long has it been since your first Dark Souls 3 playthrough? 
six-ish years, roughly around then, I would say. All right, we got a new rat slaying weapon. Side to side sweeps, ready to go. That felt like it did a little less damage to them, but I'm gonna keep pushing on. Oh, the gas definitely takes away your maximum health. They've got multiple things that do it then, because there are times I've lost my max health and the gas wasn't even there. But the gas does it too. Caught her just before she finished that animation. Oh, I don't need to go this way. I need to check the barred window. Or I want to check the barred window. I'm afraid I'll forget if I don't do it now. Let's go back up and check the barred window. Hey there. I'm pretty sure it's this one. It's a shortcut. It's a shortcut. I know where I am now. Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. I ran around when this was a shortcut the entire time. Greatly boosts sorceries. Special ring given to those who are deemed fit to undertake the journey of discovery in Vinheim, home of sorcery. Greatly boosts sorceries. Apropos to the dragon school, the seal depicts an everlasting dragon. A bellowing dragon symbolizes the true nature of the consummate sorcerer. Been seeing your shorts and videos a lot lately and really enjoying your videos. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy them, Goose. Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for saying that, it's very kind. I'm gonna drop down on this one's head and then we'll go kill the other two. Who would have figured it out, needed a nudge? A nudge? Did someone give me a nudge? Timing, so close on that. You wound up for a new hit faster than I thought you would. Seems better on them. Let's try it on a Mimic. But yeah, no nudges, no hints, not even reminders of things I definitely once knew. Fuck you. Feels like it's doing less damage to you. Than the old fiery fists. But it's doing enough. We just keep doing this. Honestly, it's the camera angle that worries me because I can't totally tell how you're turning. Not bad. Not bad at all. And it's shards. Shards are way more valuable. Uh, do I want to run through here? 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 Is that, um... I know it's going to land on the wrist. Is that, uh... Oh, you're hanging out there. I need it. I need the scales and stuff. I need it. Like SpongeBob, I need it. Titanite chunk, worth losing a friend. Good shit. Fragile for your VODs and shorts, which are great. It's my first live and it's great. Good to see you, Javier. Thank you so much for making it to the live and I'm glad you enjoy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You went back to sleep. We may still have a friend. Hell yes. All right. I'm gonna be climbing a ladder right up into some enemies, but for the most part, this plan has worked. He's sleepy. The missile is eepy. The missile has had a long day of splashing bandits. Didn't splash these bandits. I don't know why, but that, by the way, is one of my favorite meme sounds in the entire world. It's just like stupid mispronunciation and silliness, but it gets to me more than any other. The missile is EP thing. I think it's very specifically because the idea a missile's job is to splash bandits is like 
in the universe of what offensive weapons do, but obviously dumb as fuck. I think that just kicks it off so finely. I love Masalipi. Sorry, Caps. Great stream, going to sleep, have a good week. Thanks for hanging out, Lucas. Have a wonderful night, friend. I do too, it's, it's fantastic, Savvy. Our invasion's turned off. I'm dead. You can't invade the dead. I also keep forgetting I'm... Oh my god. I forgot about the fucking barred window. That's why you can't invade me, because I never use embers, because I forget five seconds after I say it that I'm dead. Here it goes. I'm, I'm forgetting. I, look at how much health I have. I couldn't be dead. It's gone now. No embers. He's a grumpy giant. What's the current roadblock? Rats? Also, fuck you for coming in, assuming there was a roadblock. <laughs> Weapon's better for them, at least in two hands, than when I was fighting with the fist weapons. Lightning sword's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Uh, last time I ran through them, I did it this way. Oh, I think I did get hit, but I was able to mainly avoid them. Cool. I gotta keep moving now. I can't heal yet because one's gonna drop down. At least one. Okay, this is your fucking job. Please be better against the rats. I think we can progress now. I think, I think, I think. Are there Moria? In the mines of Moria? You can target dead things for a while after they're dead in this. I kept swinging because I assumed my targeted rat would change. Didn't. Let's test my memory. I'm pretty certain I remember the one on the left being the mimic and the one on the right being safe. I'm gonna open it without checking. Oh, memory's good. Old cell key. Now let's get in trouble. Memory's good over the course of like an hour, but good for that. Wait, you came down this time? The basilisks are here! This is stupid! Why didn't they come down last time? You know, when I expected them. You can jump twice in a row. I'm in serious, serious danger. I also don't actually know how far I can back up safely. Not far at all. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one's gone, and another one's gone. We good yet? Kinda, sorta. I was fairly confident I was going to eat a death to curse there. Rat fact, their whiskers are more sensitive than human fingertips. I can believe it. Most animals with whiskers have, yeah, they're incredibly sensitive, right? Because they're how they judge a huge amount about their... There wasn't a chest there before. <laughs> I can see your fucking pecs underneath it. I love the fact that they go back into chest form. As if it's like, well, they probably won't look that carefully. <laughs> They'll probably forget there was a mimic at all. <laughs> Very hopeful of them.
increases dark attack, but compro attacked attack, but compromises uh, damage absorption. Ring depicting a hand, grasping a purple stone, increases dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An old fable in Londor claims that the lure of the clutch ring reaches out to the crestfallen, who might otherwise be overcome by despair. Sounds like me, but I think I'll resist for now. Okay, this is now a dead end. And we go to the big bad rat. I'm pretty sure I remember. I've been right about this place so far, though I didn't remember there was a mimic. Should be a big bad rat in here. Yep, I'm right about that. Don't remember anything after this though. Here we go. I thought there was one though. <laughs> they always find a way to surprise you. <laughs> I like how that dung pie went to storage. Because my pockets are just too full of dung pies as it is. Try eliminating one at a time. Never a good message to read. Okay. Worse even than I thought. Rat meets back on the menu, boys! Oh, six. I already killed one. There's at least fucking seven in this room. Oh, I forgot to put the exploding fireball on I mentioned, which, you know, might not have worked, but might have! My health is limboing, seeing how low it can go. I wonder if they can actually kill you with that, or if they can only get you down to an absolute minimum. Waiting a sec. I feel like I shouldn't heal that though, because, you know, it'll just be eaten up again. Uh, it's safer to heal it. By like, the tiniest margin, it's safer to heal some of it. I'm losing my health right now, and you're not doing anything. It's not a spell. It's not a spell they have to cast. It's not the smoke they drip from their eyes or mouth. I've never been clear on that. It's just them. So looking upon you does that. You're like the winter lanterns from Bloodborne, but you might be worse. Fucking Christ. This place is truly awful. Oh, hey, I'm out. Okay, I'm gonna hide back here and actually heal up for a second. Come to me. That thing's not moving any faster. And I think there's at least one more. Was there one circling over here, or am I lying to myself? That's one of their attacks. Oh, you're up in there. You appear to be alone. I'll go after you once this cloud dissipates. Now to deal with the rest of the room. Or we could just go on. <laughs> bonfire, 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 bonfire. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. I swear I've missed a bonfire at this point. That's what it feels like. 
<laughs> oh, we figured it out, Hydro. Thank you, it's been driving me absolutely insane. Maybe they can control your mask, which keeps hurting you. I love that theory. It happened before I put the mask on. Otherwise, I'd think that unlikely, but I'd believe it is possible. And I'd be willing to test it. But this definitely happens to me before I put the mask on, too. I'm debating going through these areas or trying to go onward. Through that door I was just looking at a second ago at the other end of the hall. For the sake of, uh... Okay. Like... There's at least two that want to fight me. These aren't the worst enemies. Are you gonna stay friendly? Hey. Come out here and let's do this 1v1. Visions of friend in need. A friend in need's a friend indeed. A friend with weed is better. What's the next lyric? Oh yeah. A friend with breasts and all the rest. A friend who's dressed in leather. I remember now. I went to see them recently. Good show. Um, I feel awful, but I'm gonna kill this one because I don't want it standing up and attacking me from behind when I'm not ready. So now it's dead. Next! One of you. Perfect, perfect. The other's unaware. Fitting song for this area. He's just the tired boy. Also Carla. Bloodborne Winter Lanterns were coated with an actual invisible wheelchair machine gun, the ones the old men use on their heads that shoot frenzy bullets. Oh, yeah, that's how they programmed it behind the scenes. That is my second favorite programming story I think I've heard. My first, hello, where did you come from? Would probably be, uh, I think it's Fallout 3 or New Vegas. I think 3, no, fuck, which is it? There's, there's, I th I'm pretty sure a Bethesda game um, where there are trams, but to make them move, they needed them to be like entities of a certain kind, and the easiest way they found to do it was to make them hats. And so if you could see through the earth, there's like a person dangling below them who runs a million miles an hour, and the train is their hat. Tell me about the profaned coal and save me from running on for just a second here. Give me a moment's, a moment's respite. Coal used for weapon infusion, remnants of the fire that burned down the profaned capital, preserved in an icy skull. Give to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use of gems for dark blood and hollow. Pleasant. Dark, blood, and hollow is quite a combination. I can already see you're breathing. Jesus Christ. Superstar. What the fuck is going on here? Why the hell is this place like this? Ugh. They didn't care who you were before you put the mask on. Now they still don't care about you. Sun-dried seeds can party just as hard. They just need more water. The train, that's amazing. Yeah, I wish I could remember what game. If you search a couple of those terms, I'm sure you can find it if you're curious. But I wish I could just remember for you right now which game. Xanthus Ashes. Be wary of listen carefully. Oh, I killed the things beside, which is what I think we're screaming. It's you! It's fucking... It sounded so distinctly like it was coming from my right one of those times. What did I even pick up? Did I just get this? Reduces spell FP consumption, but also lowers HP. Leaf-colored crown ring bestowed upon the Princess of Ulysseel, ancient land of golden sorceries. Ulysseel is synonymous for its lost sorceries, of which the Xanthus sorcerers are dedicated scholars. This crown ring is a rare artifact of great magic heritage. I think I remember what the Xanthus sorcerers look like. I bet the ashes let me go ahead and buy their armor. Umbral ash of a sorcerer who explored the golden sorceries of a long-lost land. With this, the shrine handmaid will prepare new items. They were called Xantha Scholars, but some foolishly imitate them by simply dressing in yellow. Hate those screams? Got them. Nice ring. Why all these mimics in the haunted as fuck dungeon? Weird that. Should I do that or should I do you? Let's do you next. Save the mimic. 
Come on. Tell me you're alone, right? Come on out here alone. Come on, reach born alone, and you need to come out here and die alone. Forgot how your timing works. And your range. I'm lucky with that one. I was real late on one of those dodges, but I 100% take that. Oh. Uh, why did I do that? Maybe there's like some lore reason why one of those things is in here. I remember where they're from. They were out in, um, Road of Sacrifices. Don't know what that means if that's only here to like illustrate something about the lore. Whatever, dead now. Oh hey. It's locked. There's a witch in there. I bet she would use the pyromancy tome bound with flesh. We need another key. I actually picked up a key a short time ago, didn't I? Not the one I used for the thing, an another one. Old cell key. Key to the oldest cell in the Irithil dungeon. The first prisoner of the dungeon was a lone giant. Cells for men were built at his feet. I could free the giant, maybe? Huh. Okay, I wonder where that's used. Let's, um, let's, um, this is sort of grandiose and terrifying. Let's explore in this direction a little bit. It is a prison. Area is so dark lore-wise. Maybe it's just good for my sanity, I barely understand lore. Oh! I actually know this part. I know this part. This part stuck with me because this is the first thing like this I'd ever seen. Um, which is weird because there's there's a gesture thing in Bloodborne. For uh, I forget the name of the thing, but there's a gesture thing in Bloodborne too, isn't there? Anyway, this is the first one I've seen that was so weird to me. I remember how to do this. Do I have the thing? Dragon torso stone gesture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I have the? I'm actually not going to do it right now because I want to go do something else, but do I have it? Point forward, up, down, wave, back in, call over, welcome, jump for joy, joy, hurrah, bow, dignified, bow, legion, etiquette, prayer, rest, collapse, prostration, toast. I don't. I think it's, I think it has the word dragon in it, and I think it's like a crisscross applesauce meditation. The way these dead bodies are kind of, well, most of them are doing. Meditation takes practice. We'll have to come back with it. We'll have to come back with it. Don't think you have it yet? All I can think is how gross those floors would be on bare feet. Everyone's complaining about my feet. I'll put shoes on. Trap all that prison stank in so we can marinate. Back on these eastern leggings that we need to take something off. Unless the helmet change was enough, the helmet change was not enough. There we go. Delightful. Beautiful. Shortcut. There is a, uh, there's a, there's a door beside the bonfire. Shortcut. It would be the perfect timing for it. Hey. Check this out first, though. Uh, I think I know where I am. I'm pretty sure I know where I am, and this is a shortcut. Just not as good as I hoped it would be. A lightning blade. Pretty sweet. Can I do this without getting hurt? No, you can't. Super cool. Um, okay, so that shortcut will let me go down here and just get in trouble faster. 
with all these guys. I think I, I think I want to keep pushing forward right now while they're all dead. You know, so I don't have to do the fight in here again, even if it means I only have three flasks. But on the other hand, if they just gave me a shortcut, there's not going to be a bonfire around the next turn. <sighs> Let's go a little farther. See anything over there? I don't see anything anywhere here moving. Profaned capital. Be wary of ambush. How bad an ambush? Probably get more um potions. Nah, come on, I'll take a crack at him. It's only 14 and a half thousand souls, it's fine. Come here. That is a little more delay on it than I was expecting. Also, you're made of stone. Probably don't give a crap about lightning. Or sharp edges. How did I miss? One of those attacks missed. Not the worst. How the hell did I miss that? First playthrough, my second, but it's been six years, and I, I have a particularly bad memory for detail in video games. So I've been calling it something like an 80% first play. I think that's roughly accurate. I did just have a string of remembering things, but that's sort of the first time it's been more than like just the odd, uh, the odd, uh, really the first time I've remembered a lot, significant amount. Have a great night, everyone. Love the gameplay, Hydro. Thanks for hanging out, Happy. Have a fantastic night. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Thank you so much for hanging out. Go up the other side. This looks like I'm going to get ambushed by more gargoyles. Just sort of the size of the arena is making me think that. Good shit. It was correct to stretch out. It was correct to push forward. Good shit. Oh, fucking right. Oh my god, I feel such a weight lifted off my shoulders. Hey there, I see you. Progress, Samantha. Progress. Yes. Let's go upgrade our Estus flasks and all that shit. Yes. Mm. Had a drip check yet? Just once. I can give you another. Got a sweet meowdy there, partner cat. Riding through space. On a shark. Vomiting rainbows. Pretty standard fare. Pretty average. You know? Guy in the ground looks familiar. The guy I got the items from, or whatever? I have a shard too, but I want to go see what you're talking about. Bonfire level 7. It's from Soft. They totally will put a bonfire just around the corner from a, uh... This makes this weird. I haven't gotten the second shortcut in there. You know, the first one I saw. Uh, is that a blacksmith from Dark Souls 1? Pomegranates, is that one of the blacksmiths from Dark Souls 1? So would this be the tower? The tower he's in, going down through the tower gets you to, um, the woods, doesn't it? I feel like I'm thinking of the wrong guy. Something about him looks familiar. I might be fooling myself, though, and have forgotten who he is. 
and climb down this ladder to a severely warped texture. Some items of gargoyle stuff over there. That's probably part of progressing in that direction. Um, there's also a tower over there. That might be what you get by going down and through here. Let's go back and finish up business in town. Let's go back and finish up business in town. If I recall correctly, that's a reference to Dark Souls 2. Ladder guy was from Dark Souls 2. Oh, the guy you pay to put ladders in. Yeah, I totally for fucking forgot him. I forgot he looks like that. Yeah, I forgot he existed. I remember him now, though. I'll, I'll take your word, that's what he looks like. He, he's not coming back, but I'd forgotten that guy was even a thing. Ah, just what what a weird guy to be a thing. Reinforce, give coal. Lords, where did you happen upon this coal? I know we get along, but you need to this stop asking questions. I see the abyss in it. Are you gonna be like the pyromancer? Yeah, the smith I remain. Okay. I won't turn down a request. I thought he was going to turn me away. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be, but hope remains. Does it not? I don't know. All I know is party. For thee, be careful. Now, pardon me for a second. Hey, you! Come up the stairs with me for a second and learn what it means to be a professional. And at the end of it all, he's surrounded by what he loved. Ladders. How much was the charge for this? I know I'm nowhere near it, but how much was it? 90,698. Assuming that Lord Souls are worth like 10k. And I could check off three of them as being, yeah, I definitely don't want any of that stuff, which I don't think I can do. I'm missing a huge amount of souls. And it's only gonna get worse if I level up, you know? Of course, it's only gonna get worse if I level up. I'm trying to decide when and how to save up to heal the Dark Sigil. And I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Shit. Did fuck hell damn crap. Did hell damn crap fuck. Okay, you know what I want to do? I want to go back and check around the giant for uh, what's around his feet. Because I have a key to a cell. I said it was like the oldest cell, the giant's cell. I want to find that door. Were there any doors I already ran into near-ish to him that were locked? Are there any I ran into? Oh, I know where there's one locked cell. I know where there's one locked cell. It's nowhere near the giant, so... Not sure about this, but I remember actually where one is. Take me to... Take me to... Take me to... Yeah, the dungeon checkpoint, because it's actually going to be nearest here, even without shortcuts. It's the flavor of Estus. Take a good long look. It's right down there below me. Come up with your best answer. What is the flavor of Estus? Estus takes like sunshine, praise the sun. Sun was going to be in my answer, but my answer was going to be it tastes like concentrated Sunny D. Like if you boiled Sunny D for a long time, if you reduced Sunny D. <laughs> it's got to end up being so intense that even if you love Sunny D, it's just too much. That's what I'm thinking. Red Bull, spicy Sunny D, 10,000% the daily value of sugar. Um, I'm gonna need to go... Let's go a little bit slow here so I can... Be confident. 
I don't accidentally pass it. I do need to go quick for you. Oh, did you see that? Rex. Thank you, sword, for actually hitting multiple enemies. Three, two, one. All right, where's the room at the end of one of these hallways that crosses to, here it is. I think at the base of this one is where I will find my target. For the key, possibly. Might be a bit off. <laughs> Jerks. I'm not even gonna bother fighting all of them. Yeah, 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 this. This is not the cell. Alright. Never mind. We go back to the other idea. Uh, it's at the giant's feet. What's the quickest way of the giant's feet? Quickest way of the giant's feet from here is probably not through the shortcut because the shortcut would take me to all of the jailers. Quickest way is probably the forward running that I worked out before. So we'll do that again, running this way. I do need to remember that this one here absolutely will stab me. Oh, I forgot about that shortcut. That shortcut would have been way better. <laughs> forgot that existed. <laughs> now I need to... I don't think it matters which side of the giant I drop down on. Let's drop down on his wrist, the near one. Just because it's overall safer. Why do you need to cure hollowing? Oh, I don't know. It just seems like a good idea, but I really don't know the effect it has at all. No idea whatsoever. Oh, I could have gone this way to begin with. I never noticed that. There's even a fucking ladder. <laughs> I never noticed that. Is there a ladder down further? Because I'm thinking of going all the way down there. But I don't know how it connects to anything else. Alright, I think we just go. Even if it means jumping off of this. Let's not get those rats' attention if I can help it. One, two, three, four, five rats at least. I think this is a safe jump and that it won't instant kill me. But it absolutely will hurt a lot. Still doing way better than the fist weapons. Did I hear another rat screech to come after me? Hello there, I'll investigate you in a moment. Apparently I did. Fuck oh, man. Rats have such a variety of attacks. I thought I was safe because I started winding up before him and he's got that really fast headbutt. I keep attacking because you have no hall pass. I highly doubt rats would stop to read a hall pass. Again, it's a fantasy world. Maybe the rats are literate. I, I can't say for sure they're not. Are they still just spawning? If the rats are just coming and coming and coming. All right, give me all this stuff. Profane flame. Large titanite shard. Good, 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 good. Can I unlock this thing? Oh, hey. I legitimately didn't think he'd wake up while I was just hanging around down here. Let's check this door out. You're a goddamn mimic. I didn't expect you guys to be here this quickly. I'm trying to roll away. 
Dude, one of them's even at full health. That was harder than the Dark Souls 2 boss that's just a mass of rats. Way harder for me, somehow. <clears throat> Go fuck yourself. Let's do this. Come this way. With your spin kicks. Shouldn't have gone for two there. I didn't know I was going to get a stumble. I thought it was more at an angle and he'd have to turn and I was wrong. Really early roll, but I really thought I would distance that and then I didn't get to move anywhere like where I wanted to go. Having a rough night in the dungeons. Very, very rough night in the dungeons. Luckily now I know how to get back there faster. Now that I've been reminded of the barred window. Let's head straight on to it. I've never tried that, but I doubt this one to my left can do a lot to me. Yeah, we're safe. Good. Good, 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 good. Mimic used roundhouse. It was super effective. You consented to the dungeon party? They sure thought I did. I had my timing off. I got lucky that shot didn't hit me. Oh, okay. I wonder how many rounds will follow me if I just head straight in there. I think actually I can jump off the side the entry is on. So... Might get no rats joining me in the room with the mimic, right? If cats can talk and crows can run a shop, why can't rats read? I have no answer to this highly philosophical question. Feels like there should be a nicer way to get down here, somewhere around here. Don't know why it feels that way. They never do anything nice for you. I think this is safe. Ish. Take two. Motherfucker! sound at the end of that. There's a ladder right here. Where does that go? That sound. Much better, though. Much better. Hang on a second. There we go. Dragon Slayer Lightning Arrow. Tough enemy ahead. Less interesting than getting a new ring, like from many of the others. Free hugs! He's just giving them away! I wonder what the catch is. Probably being caught. Goes a long way up. Hello? 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 Where am I? Hang on. Oh! Uh... I gotta remember how to jump. It's like a practice run. I remember how to jump. Alright, good. Here we go.
lightning bolt. Hey everybody. I kind of want to go back in there. Even though they're all walking around. Am I allowed through here? Alright, cool. Oh shit, I didn't mean to come all the way this far back though. Oh shit, I'm kind of involved now. I wanted just to hop in and I thought hang a quick left back to drop down by the giant's wrist like I had before. Didn't realize it was going to be to my right, not my left. Alright, how far do you follow me? Will you come down here with me? Seemingly not. Very safe. Maybe there's a way back out? That it is. But I want to go check that tunnel right there. So, I think the easiest way to do this is going to be... I don't know. Probably drop down this side, heal up, fight the rats, one at a time, until they're a little bit thinner because replacements are coming out but aren't standing where they need to yet. And then... Go through. One rat. <laughs> Three rats. We're gonna go now and probably pull one into the tunnel with us. And I'm comfy with that. Yeah? Damn. Good enough, though. What do we got here? Nothing under it. And it takes me to... I look up when I'm on an elevator in a game. You don't look up on an elevator in real life. This is the one I was looking for earlier. Well, all right. I've got a shortcut down to um down to Why would I want that shortcut? The rats connect to the Oh, I guess it oh. Hmm. I could at least use it to come down this way, run by the rats, ignore the mimic, well the mimic's dead so it won't respawn, and go up onto above the giant's head. That's kind of useful. Is there anything else down here though? Is there like another reason to use that? I didn't see. This is, this is just death, right? I didn't actually take a look, but yeah, that's just fucking death. Huh. Okay, I guess that's what it's for, so you can go in there and use the ladder up that way. What does that leave? I don't know what to do with the cell key. Didn't figure that out. Is that it? It's the only thing I haven't figured out? Of what I saw in the Irithyll dungeon? Oh, I haven't done the, uh gesture, but I know about that. I just can't right now. I'm just checking the walls here. Those are the only two things I think I didn't do that I saw in the dungeon. Oh shit, there's the locked room. I didn't do that. There's the locked room with the witch in it. It's actually a lot. Okay. Let's write them down. Irithyll Dungeon. Locked room with body. Locked room with witch. Meditation gesture thing. I feel like I said one more. Oh! Where to use old cell key? I've got at least those things. But, whether we continue to explore them right now or go on to Smoldering Lake next, for the night, we're gonna break there. 
Thank you so much for hanging out, Samantha. You've been delightful. I appreciate it. I've got to go do some video editing and get some rest. I will be back with a mixture, I haven't decided which days are which, of Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3 over on Twitch this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Hang on, I can get you the link. Each of those days. And I'll be back here with more Dark Souls 3 um, next Sunday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And... I still have to do the serious planning, but I think we're gonna have a bonus Saturday stream on Twitch. More like two in the afternoon, three in the afternoon, of community games, like Jackbox Party Pack stuff, uh, Gartic Phone maybe, almost certainly some silly trivia games, like Family Food Feud and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, where we all guess together, because I always enjoy that. Uh, but yeah. Not W links, exclamation point links. There we are. I hope I see you over on Twitch. I hope I see you here next weekend. Uh, but whether I do or don't, thanks so much for hanging out now. I appreciate it. It was good to have you here. Um, yeah, follow me here. Follow me on my other YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. And I have a Discord where you can know when I'm going live, on what channel, and what I'm playing. Plus, you can chit-chat or just lurk and read if you like. There are cute animal photos in one of the channels. Have a wonderful rest of your night or day. Have a great rest of your time zone. When's the community games? I think next Saturday at like two or three in the afternoon, probably three in the afternoon starting time. Um, I'm gonna go look into some things now and tomorrow morning. And Mondays is usually when I post the week's schedule on Discord. So I'll probably have the decision made by then. And you can either find it in Discord or hear it I'll, you know, be talking about it over on um, Twitch streams uh, this coming week. Great to catch some of the stream. Good night, Samantha and Hydro. Thanks for hanging out, Jataka. Night, thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Batadar. It was good to have you here. Thank you, Hydro. Have a good night. Good stream. Rest well. I will try and get some rest. I'm so tempted always to try and get ahead on video editing. Okay, I need some rest tonight. So we're going to try and really strike that balance. Looking forward to both games. Really enjoyed Baldur's Gate. I was surprised how much I enjoyed it the first day. My only real annoyance is it feels so slow literally just moving around because when I play games like off stream, which is somewhat rare with how much time I spend doing like video editing and stuff. I keep saying video editing, but it really is. I'm either at my day job streaming or I'm video editing most of the time. Stuff like the Game of Thrones board game thing I was talking about earlier that I spent all yesterday doing with friends, that's pretty rare. Um, the times within those, the other rare times where I play games of my own, I almost exclusively play games where you go fast. I love moving quickly. And so, the literally like my only annoyance is how slow you run some of the time. And I chose a, a, a gnome. I don't know if that makes a difference outside of combat, but maybe it's my fault. So I was really surprised. Yeah, I thought it would be good, but not right up my alley or anything. I mean, I thought the game was fantastic from what I heard, but not exactly what I liked. And it's maybe not exactly, but a really good time. A really very good time. I'm looking forward to playing more of it this coming week. Good stream tonight. Thanks for the stream. Night, night. Have a good rest. All of you as well. Thanks for this amazing stream. Goodbye. Night. Can't wait for Tuesday. Bye. Good night. Great stream. Good night. Thank you all one more time. All right, I'm headed out. I will see you later. Take care, friendos.